Hello. Welcome everyone. Hi Ellerin, hi Emmy. Hi Trollux. Hi Neko. So yeah, this game actually it just came out yesterday. And I think I saw it. I saw a video of it on Twitter way back, and I've been following it since then. And it just looks like a really cute kind of... I don't know what to call these kind of games. It's like a short hike style game where you just kind of like walk around and explore and you can do fun things. It just looks really chill and really fun, so... I've wanted to play this for a while. <laughs> New hike type game. Yeah, forget about strand type games. I think hike type games are the best games. Alright, let's go in. Ah! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's enough laying around. I want to do something fun. I think Sis will play with me. I wonder where she went. So this is Lil Gator. <laughs> Wee. Obviously I have to ride on all of these. Oh look at the sun. Can I actually climb this? Not really. Seesaw! The ground is lava. I won. Take this. I'm bored. <laughs> Flop. What are you doing? Looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can it be out already? I want to be the legendary hero. Win Silk Song. You and me both. Uh, but we don't need single player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard of. How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? You just need a sword and a shield. And a hat. Of course, a silly pointy hat. And you have to be clad in green? I am green. Great, you're already halfway there. As a matter of fact, hold still right there for a minute. I look so cool. Cardboard weaponry. It's like you jumped right out of the magazine. Now, as is tradition, you must choose a heroic name. What about Heroi Hero Sun Hero Meister the Third? Okay, but this is what all the NPCs are going to call you for the whole game. Your name could be a silly or serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. Hero... Gator... The... No, I ran out of letters. should I name myself? Yeah, but I, this is like a different character. I like this. I don't want it to just be me.
I'll just be a little hero. Wait. Is that all in caps? There. I'm Lil Hero, Hero of Legend. Pleasure to meet you, Lil Hero. I need some kind of quest, but what? I need to get you up to speed. Set the skates with something dramatic. A hundred billion years of darkness. A little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started 100 billion years ago? The brave hero set out on a quest to find something fun to do. With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. They also made a pact to last all of playtime. No work allowed. But one day, after Many a playtime, Big Sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day, when Big Sis came home for fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. Feels like just yesterday, huh? Uh, yep, those hundred billion years really flew right by. Kinda makes you want to jump up and do it all again right now, doesn't it? Well, I really have to finish this group assignment. Oh, come on, you've been working on that all day. I barely got you to come out here with me. Yeah, sorry kiddo, it's a tough project. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while. So I'm having to pull a lot of the extra weight myself. The classic. But uh, don't worry. I've had this... I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, you're my amazing big sis. One little assignment is nothing. We'll finish this thing before we even know it. I believe in you 100%. Uh, what, what are y'all doing? You know, she'll never finish it in a million years. Can you tell me she at least... <clears throat> Jeez, my voice is dying. Hold on. Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations. Those took forever to put up. Not even a peek, but thanks for trying, guys. Ah, oh, sorry, little hero. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. We can make monsters and treasures all day long, but we can't play the game for her. Avery, that's it. I'll play the game for her. Said it couldn't be done. Care to elaborate? Right now, all the stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty pots beside empty waterfalls that don't even have any cool secret caves behind them. There's no story, no drama. We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero, an epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. Are you sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? I've been doing college level work recently trying to get into that prep school. It's really hard. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years and I can't wait that long. She'll have like 10 million years to finish it later. Not entirely sure that math tracks. It tracks. Just a thought, but have you tried having a grown-up conversation with her about all this? You know, before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that. No grown-up stuff during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. Just enough to get her hooked again, please. 
You already had me at drama. Guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help, I trust you. Yes, alright, let's get to work. Each of you will make a quest for me to complete, and reward me with one of the hero items. Avery, your quest is for the hero hat. Hat, quest, got it, bye. Martin, you'll handle the shields. Gotcha. And Jill, the sword, leave it to me. Exactly, and I'll play through the game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. I'll do the quests, become the hero, and win over Big Sis. Sounds like a plan that might almost work, possibly. You're right, it'll definitely work. That's not what I said. Don't worry, Scales. We'll ace this assignment for sure. Hey, sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends <laughs> the walk. Just a normal run-of-the-mill day on the island. Nothing special or exciting happening, to my knowledge. Uh, okay, kiddo. Have fun, then. Oh, I will. Hehe. <laughs> There really is no secret in the waterfall. Can I just swim? I'm a, I'm a gator, I can swim. <laughs> this is the best swimming animation. Hi Dave. Pot. What do I do with it? I think I need the sword. Oh no, dangerous beasts. I'm gonna sit first. You, hero, please, you must help. These vile creatures have attacked me, a defenseless NPC. You have a weapon, hero? Weapon? Oh no, I'm lacking my sword. Do you know where I can get one? A skilled traveler, I've heard many a tale of a mythical sword. Stories claim it to be deep in the forest, hidden away in a magical grove. Only heroes of true heart are able to draw the sword from its impenetrable base. That sounds difficult. I'm sure you can manage it. You're the hero after all. Please, you must retrieve the sword and save me. These are very scary, I agree. Look out! Slimes. Please don't jump up the rock ledges. I don't think that's a part of the, uh, the game. I think that's an actual sign. So we don't have to abide by that. Stick. Wow, the magical special sword. It's it's a stick. I guess it was pretty short notice. Quick, I have to defeat these enemies and help Jill. <laughs> Avoid junk. I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle it into something new. I like how they just explode. I'm surrounded still. Give me a sec. I'm going on a, a quest here. Going to the catacombs. <laughs> you're just... You're studying. Here, you have to help me. Hey, you're doing homework. No, it's fine. Just... Ah, enemies. Oh no. Beat them. What's the sign saying? A 
do the opposite of what every sign says. Oh, super cool moves, hero. Completed my quest. I mean, yeah, thanks, but you're back to doing schoolwork. I thought you were playing. I am, I promise. Just trying to squeeze a practice quiz on inside. I'm a little stretched thin right now, studying for that prep school. I don't want to waste any time. But the second you need me, I'll switch gears again. Okay, well, see you later then, I guess. Sis, sis, check it out. <laughs> Found a special sword in the forest. I rescued Jill from scary monsters. Very cool, don't break anything. Haha, uh -huh, okay. She loved it! Okay, what's next? Oh, I should check in on Martin. I think he's in the sandy area. Grass percent! Can cut grass. It's over. Evil Chief, thanks for the year. This game is about adventure. Oh, there's skeletons up here. like a memory? You've got this little hero. Are you sure? I'm pretty high up. Don't worry, the legendary hero can climb any height. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, get hurt. <laughs> Past me. Mustard Yellow Sun, thanks for the 18. Climbed. Oh, this is a high level flame slime here. What's this thing? Hey, little hero. I've got the shield ready. Let me go grab it. What? No, you can't just give me things. That has to be a reward for a quest. Doing quests is the only way to become the hero. For my sis to play with me. Right, talking to her is out of the question. Completely out of the question. We went over this. Playtime, no grown-up stuff. Quest drama, fun. But maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her. That's going to work perfectly and we won't need to. Uh -huh. Fine, you want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quests are the best quests. Oh, I mean, uh... Sure do love me a fetch quest. So go over there and grab that thing. I need it. For reasons. Ah, uh, well, yes. Okay, quest time. Oh! I thought I could sit on this. It just gets pushed around. Go! Where am I going? Speedrun. Wait, what? Is there some kind of run function? Because I was not even close. I don't know how to speed up. Maybe I'll have to do it later. Weird. Okay, the thing. 
Got it. It's a pot. Weird, I wonder what Martin's plan for this is. Probably nothing. Here you go, Martin. I got the pot. Reward time. Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly a task worthy of being called heroic. So here's your reward, hero. Potlet. Martin, this is the thing I just gave you. No, it's not. It's your shields. Really? Yes. Wow, a shield! Amazing! In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. Oh my god! Shield surfing! Can't wait to find a hill and slide down it on this potlet. Or I mean shield. Well done, hero. You have completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. Now go tell your sister you want her to play with you. Not gonna happen. Bye! Sis, I found this weird round thing, right? But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. <laughs> he transmuted it into a shield. Incredible. Yeah. Phew, okay. All that's left is Avery. They've gone and climbed the mountain, haven't they? Shield surfing! Or like sledding, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> There's another one here. Whoa! You can like slide on the on the water for a bit. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Whoa! Front flip. Oh my god! Are you seeing the speed you can get? Holy shit! You can get crazy speed. Hello. Hmm, where could it be? I can't find it anywhere. Looking for something? Yeah, there's a stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Uh, I feel like I left it right here in the center of this conspicuous opening. Uh, oh, is that your stick? Uh, oops, I thought it, that was for me. My friend told me there was a sword hidden in the forest. When I found that stick, it seemed perfect. Secret sword. Oh, that reminds me. While I was looking for my stick, look what I found. Oh, a wooden sword. This must be what Jill wanted me to find. Thanks a lot. Do you want your stick back? Don't worry about it. You can hold on to it as long as you're enjoying it. See you around. S, thanks for the 16. Ah, what's happening? <laughs> I tried to meme again like I did last time. I don't know how I did that, I was like... There, that's how you do it, you just jump. Oh my god! <laughs> speeder in this game now. You can get crazy speed on the on the shield. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look out! <laughs> Where am I even going? Okay, I haven't gone here yet. Plant. Evil tree. That was a boss fight right there. Took three hits. Am I supposed to go like up the mountain? Is it over there? Tightrope walking. Oh my god. Get some height here. Seen it is I, the bracelet shop. Look upon my array of beauties. Do you not desire them? Covet them? Hmm? Tell me, what is it that you truly want? Am um, I looking for my friend Avery? They're a frog? Yes, the energetic one. They have ascended to greater heights. But do not fear, for you can follow in their footsteps. With the help of my bracelets. Saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs. There are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength. Strength to keep going. To tell you... To tell the world who you are. To ascend over your every obstacle. To hold tight to the truth in your heart. Okay, okay, I'll take one. Fine. Woohoo, as I thought. You desire my bracelets more than anything else in this world. Mayhaps I could be persuaded to part with my beauties for a price. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken crafting stuff? That's just a bunch of junk. Ah, but they hold value to you, do they not? And they also hold value to me. Because I can take that value away from you, <laughs> Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only a hundred... Trim things. Pieces of trash. Got a bracelet. It gives me the strength to climb walls. What? It gives me a strength. It gives me an ability. You still yearn for my beauty. Seek me out. Find me where you least expect. Goodbye. What? How'd you do that? There's a pot. Confetti pot. Oh, I can climb trees! I mean, I can climb walls too. I can climb anything. Truly a Breath of the Wild like video game. Wait! No! Hi. Hello, fellow mountain climber. These bracelets sure work great, don't they? Uh, I guess so. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just bracelets, right? Might be a placebo. Not a chance. I myself am, of course, a proficient mountain climber. But when that frightful character told me that they could help, you bet I bought one. Heck, I bought four of them. Now look at me. I can climb anything, go anywhere. You, fellow mountain climber, you will have a climb off. I'll traverse this mountain and hide amongst its peaks. You think your meager one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities? Prove it and find me amongst the mountains. I love my wobble.
Wait, who's talking? I could maybe use some help here. <laughs> oh no, you've been surrounded. Hey, yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. Could you help me out? What happened? Hold on, I'll break you out of there. I think this person might actually be stuck. They actually got attacked by slimes. Hold on, let me take care of the reinforcements first. Free at last. Phew, freedom. Yeah, what the heck happened? Well, I was just standing here minding my own business. Meditating, eyes closed, completely motionless, blending in with nature. And suddenly these pieces of cardboard appeared around me. Oops, that's my fault. Me and my friends placed these all over the island. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I would have broken out myself, but... After staring at the designs of these creatures long enough, I fell in love. The simple, elegant shape, the exquisite color, the lifeless eyes staring into the void. I couldn't bring myself to harm such an image. I only wish there was a way to bring that image to life. Ah, if only. Anyway, I must take my leave. Oh, okay. Well, if we run into each other again, maybe you could help me with the game. Mayhaps. Only time will tell. Slime cap. Slime hat. It's so wobbly. I fell off a mountain! Whoops. I was trying to wobble this and I ended up falling. Anyway, this is already game of the year, by the way. It is topped Elden Ring. Please don't climb the cliff face. I can't read, okay. Oh, that rock guy was cute. Look at the rock guys. I made it. up there. Destroy all the plant life. Ah, oh, fellow mountain climber, you found me. What took you so long? But you think you're quite the hot shot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. Well, do you know you have a lot to learn? You've learned the art of ascent, yes. However, you're quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> I'm good. So have you learned from my example? <laughs> I, uh, I guess. Hi, it requires much practice to achieve this level of mastery. Go, and perhaps one day you will measure up to my abilities. Oh my god. I need to pay money for this, apparently. 
We need more money so I can ragdoll. This is very important. Oh, I got up. Nice. I feel like I can get it up. Okay, I gotta like unpress Y or else I just bounce off the wall. Oh, well I can just go this way. Backwards walk. It's a memory. Climb, climb, climb. Um, but don't tell anyone I let you. Hero beats the mountain. I did it. We should do this every year. No, every month, every day. There's a treasure up here. Get little me. Ah! <laughs> oh, there's the frog guy. Wait a sec, I just got enough. It's LB. game, but I, I, I'm gonna like feel so tempted to just press that at all times and like lose all my progress climbing things. Just, I noticed you could like break them by rank dolling. Uh. Behold, there is nothing here. Illusionary wall. My, my, like, snout was holding me up. Okay, let's freaking get back up and not jump off, maybe? Although it was funny. all this. Something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis all at once. A restaurant. This create lots of conflict and grown-ups love conflict. A restaurant. Conflict. 
see there will be an opposing restaurant that badmouths them to the press. Then in Act 2, all the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. The drama. With all that spoiled food, how would they impress the food critic? Not to mention all the interpersonal tension between the chefs. Uh, uh, I don't know. All this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Oh, stressful. Yeah, uh, it kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh no, not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. <laughs> Voop, there it goes. So the hat, right? Did you at least make the hat? Right, the hat. Um, to be honest, I forgot everything you were talking about the moment I left. I like how Avery has the exclamation point as part of their name. You seem to have a pretty clear idea of what you want. Why don't you make the hat yourself? But, but it needs to be a quest. Can do. Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go, simple. I mean, I already have my slime hat, but I guess we can get this hat too. Hey, that wasn't so hard. I made a hat all on my own. Quest complete. Oh, I mean almost complete. I have to show Avery first. Wow, what an excellent, heroic-looking hat. Ah, thanks. Does this satisfy your quest, then? Oh yes, absolutely. Even better news, I remembered something about the game. It has a glider. It makes exploration so easy. The glider? The ones I played didn't have that. Oh well, I must be thinking of a different game in the series. Anyway, hero, for fulfilling your heroic... Your heroic questing duty, I must reward you. What? Reward? But I already have the hat. Hero, I must depart. Please take your reward. As I leave you goodbye. Glider. <laughs> is this a shirt? Avery, wait, whose shirt is this? I guess this must be the glider they were talking about. I mean, uh, wow, a glider. Simply jump again in the air to glide. Sis, sis, sis. I ventured to the top of the mountain. I had to climb all over. At the top, a special hero hat. <laughs> Looking sharp. Yeah. That's everyone. Phew, okay, okay, okay. All that's left is to go recruit my sis. I'm ready for this, right? The glide. We. Just noticed my little teddy bear. I have a feeling she's not going to join. <laughs> the whole gang's here. Go for it, little hero. Playtime is now, and conflict is just grown-up stuff. Your sis is going to love it. Well, you at least look like you're having fun. So I guess that might be enough to convince your sis. Everything's been meticulously prepared. Now talk to your sis. I'm sure she'll have time to study later. You notice how Avery has an exclamation point. Martin's in all lowercase. And Jill has like the proper capitalization. That, that like there's characterization in the way their names are are displayed. The laptop isn't even on. Yeah, look at this. Exposed. So what do you think? Just a sec. Let me finish this thought. Uh, uh, and... Done. What's up? Oh, you're done? Oh, no, no, no. I'm nowhere close to finish. But I've got a minute. What do you need? Well, look at me. I'm the little green hero. 
and all those quests I've been doing. It's just like the game we play. Oh yeah, you sure have been busy. Yeah, it looks fun, right? Oh, kiddo, yeah. Just like old times, right. Kiddo. I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I've really got to focus on this project. Still. But I did all this stuff. Why'd you agree to come if you weren't going to spend time with me? Remember I promise? Playtime means no grown-up stuff, right? Kiddo, I... Maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have your fun without me. Well, so much for a legendary quest. Uh, sorry, little hero. I guess it wasn't meant to be. What? Had no way. Didn't you see that spark in her eye? All I saw was the bags underneath them. I'm telling you, we almost had her. We just didn't wow her enough. We need to go bigger and, and better. We need to go... there. The big island? Imagine all this, but over there. A bigger forest, a longer river, a taller mountain. An irresistible adventure in every direction she looks. There's no way she'll be able to say no. What do you say? I don't know, dude. The entire big island? That's not what we signed up for. Honestly, I'm exhausted just from working on this one. Oh. Hey, Jill, aren't you supposed to meet up with your school group soon? Oh my gosh, you're right. What time is it? Oh, I hope they didn't start without me. Sorry, Scales. I'll see you later. I gotta get going too. Some guys are expecting me at the splash pad. Good effort, team. You gonna be okay? Um, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, buddy. Maybe we can win her over next fall. Or maybe not. Bye. Cartwheel. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they just went under <laughs> Now what? Uh, who's texting me? What's good, little hero? You coming or what? Tom, coming where? We were waiting for you at the island and you didn't show. What? No way. I'm on the island right now by the playground. Wave at me. I don't see you. Tom, that's the big island. We said to meet on the little one. Oh, might be, might be. Wow, I was out here like, where are those guys? Cool news though, I texted like everyone and a bunch of peeps came out to help build stuff. Really? That's incredible. Yeah, but y'all weren't here, so they wandered off all over the place. Oh. I think they are still doing the game though, just in their own space I guess. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, you got big charisma. You can round them up again, no prop. I'll send anybody you met on the little island an invite, too. Great, thank you. This is amazing. You could really make an island-wide game happen. It's practically begging to happen, to be honest. But listen, come meet me at the playground first thing, because I've got big ideas for decor. I'm next to the blinky radio tower on the big island, not the little one, lol. <laughs> Cool, cool, I'll be there soon. Tom coming in clutch. Okay, okay. Eyes on the prize, little hero. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, and Jill and convince them to get back on board. And compose a dramatic spectacle, the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon. Easy, this will be a walk in the park. Oh, and I shouldn't keep Tom waiting at the playground. Time to head to the radio tower. Hey, big sis, better grab a laundry basket, because I'm about to knock your socks off. Accurate portrayal of text with your brother. Dude, this game is amazing. Give me 
that. Give me this. There's probably a lot of like little stuff I missed on this island. I don't want to look around a little bit. Midtown Maniac, thanks for the seven months. Oh! The movement. Oh, there's a memory. Oh no, the water has evil in it. Destroy the water! Ah, it's so slippery. Destroy the water. Evil water. Did I miss anything up here? come back later. No! Okay, we're gonna come back later. I fell off. <laughs> I didn't see anything. There's a couple slimes here. Hold on, we gotta relax, chat. We gotta, we gotta relax. <laughs> I'll get this eventually. It's impossible. <laughs> Close enough. Oh! The cute gator. <laughs> nah, I've fallen off higher cliffs than that already. Like that. That was pretty brutal. Good day, Traveler. Traveler, hello. I heard there's a gator on a quest, and I'm here to help. That's great. Uh, hail and well met to you, friend. You look lost. Have you not journeyed to our land before? We give some directions if you'd like. So you'd like to explore at your own pace, eh? Don't let me stop you. If you make it to the playground, I'll see you there. Crazy, why would they build it leaning? It is though, it's leaning just a little bit. <laughs> no, there's no enemies, it's just like explore and collect things. Ragged all off cliffs. That's an important part. We got a music change. So we had a great oak, the largest tree on the island. 
Hope you brought a camera. Notice, please keep to the viewing structures. No climbing. They're storming the falls. <laughs> this guy's all decked out here. Thank goodness, help has arrived. A bunch of icky slimes are trying to climb the waterfall. The big tree is just up the stream. We have to hold them off or they'll goo it all up. Gross, I like my trees goo free. Heck yeah, we gotta get those goobers gone. Take out as many as you can, I'll cover your flank. Uh. Up! Uh. I got it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get this one though. Hold on, I can do it. I just gotta get to higher ground. There we go. Got some of them. Definitely a short hike like. It's got a bunch of its own mechanics. No, I messed up. Victory is ours! That was amazing, you must be the hero of legend. I am, what gave it away? Oh, Tom told me to look out for a fidgety alligator, and that would be the hero. Um, I mean it was your skills with a sword, of course. No ordinary soldier could have done it alone. We should celebrate our victory back at the playground. I think her shield must be heavy. Down a little bit. Go get a shirt and see if it works as a glider. Probably unsafe. Whoa. Map. Okay, that's like. This is not part of our, our quest. This is an actual map of the. Chunk for trash. Of the island. I shouldn't be destroying this property. Hi Jill, what's up? Great timing skills. I want you to meet my friends from St. Hagar. St. Hagar, that's the prep school you're studying for, right? The very same. Hi, I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hagar. This is Jean and Anton. We're a small but motivated study group, always looking for new members. Speaking of Jill, maybe you and your friend would like to join us for independent projects. Oh, um, I don't know if that would uh, appeal to little hero's interest necessarily. What's independent projects? Some kind of game? I can play. It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies, then unite to share our findings. I'm scouring the forest for evidence of Paleolithic tool usage. I'm researching old battering methods and the establishment of uniform currency. I catalog beetles. Those don't sound like games at all. It sounds like you invented schoolwork to do alone. Pretty much. Assigned fall reading is no challenge at all for the paragons. Invention is the only path to enrichment. 
Plus, it's fun. And extra credit. But all this work, and our break is only so long. Aren't you our little hero? We're wasting valuable daylight. Time to move out and get started. Paragons perambulate. We're working on the catchphrase. Jeez, what a drag. A sunny day in the park and they're going to waste it on imaginary work. Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with a super fun game in progress. Ready to head to the playground? Scales. I want to help you win your sister over, really. But if St. Hogarth is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project. First of all, and I'm not even sure where to start. What? But it's fall break. There's time for a million projects later. We should be having fun. Sorry, little hero. I guess I have to choose adult stuff this time. See you. What's going on here? Jill was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all that science stuff. Why are they working when they should be having fun? It's like they don't even know how. That's it. Those friends don't know how to have fun. I can convince them to join the game. We won't have time for imaginary homework. And Jill won't have to work so hard. I should try doing those projects with them to gain their trust. I may even have to learn something. But it will all be worth it to save my friend. Alright, quest start. I mean, one of them just wanted me to collect bugs. That sounds kind of fun. Hey again, little hero. Have you decided to rally with the Paragons? Sure, yeah. I'm, uh, thinking about it. I wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. I'd be happy to introduce you to the thrilling world of rock engineering. Rock engineering is all about building tools and systems for a safe and efficient excavation. Uh-huh. To do that, it's important to understand how strength, size, and temperature affect rock fracture during mining. Yawn. Uh-huh. Single calculation error could cause a massive landslide or cave-in. Devastate the lives of... Wait a second. Mining rocks, tools, strength? You're just like a blacksmith. It's exactly like a blacksmith. Or anything else that keeps you this excited about it. That's great. My friends and I are building a fantasy town at the playground. You should come be our blacksmith. Sounds admissible as community service. I would be honored. Fortunately, I'm still in the middle of my study. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to dig up a Paleolithic artifact around here. I can find an artifact for you. That's just the kind of things heroes do. Is that so? Hmm. In that case, I have devised a brilliant plan. Oh, noble hero. Heed the plea of this adroit metal right. I seek an enchanted mineral on a faraway coastline. Need a rock from the beach? Yep, pretty much any beach rock. As long as it is overflowing with magical power. Bring a nice sparkly beach rock back here. Together we will forge something that will blow you away. Can do. Respect the commitment to stop unnecessary homework. Whoa! Oh shoot. I'm going too fast. More monsters over here. Look at this. What is this thing? Question mark. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Pot kid. Hey man, what gives? It took me forever to find that spot. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in there. Yeah, I was just grabbing a nap. There's supposed to be some big game soon. It's happening right now at the playground. Ah, jeez. Guess I needed a wake-up call after all. Won't be needing all this extra bedding anymore. Here you go. Sorry, pot kid. I just destroy any pottery I see. Actually, I just destroy anything I see in general. Because so that's what heroes do.
I don't even know where the playground is. I'm just gonna kind of wander around until I stumble upon it. Evil pot! It's a pot mimic. They should add that to a Zelda game. Like, not just the ones that fly at you, but they become like a monster. the blinking thing. That's where I have to go. Ah! No! I want the treasure. Excuse me, that belongs to someone. <laughs> I can't break these apparently. The pink ones are are this cat. Hi, do you want to play? Ahem, that's no way to address a princess. Oh, sorry. Hello, your majesty. It is I, the green hero. Wanna play? That's better, but I'm too busy to play. I'm setting tea for an important guest. Everything needs to be perfect by the time her diplomatic meeting is finished. I can help. Helping princesses is my heroic duty. Good, it's about time someone useful showed up. This ugly gray and brown clutter is blocking my pretty pink decorations. Clean this place up, but don't touch anything that's pink. Can do, princess. <laughs> you destroy it with my face. Done. Now we just wait for the guest of honor to arrive. It's her over there, right? I'll let her know it's ready. No, we can't. No one is allowed to bother her while she's on the phone. How long has she been on the phone? Uh, it feels like forever. A million years. But if you interrupt her, you'll get in big trouble. You just have to be patient. Hmm. Excuse me. Hang on, Jones. Hey, Strode, I really can't talk right now. Adults on the phone are very busy. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted you to know there's a tea party waiting for you. You mean my daughter's little party? No, she just started getting setting up. I've only been on the phone for... Oh boy, that long, huh? Really let the time get away from me. Hey, Jones, I'm at the park with my daughter. Let's pick this up another time. Yep, uh-huh. Alright, bye. Thanks for the update, Tyke. I owe you one. Hold on, let me see the party here. Hmm, best tea party snacks I've ever had. You weren't waiting on me too long, were you, sweetie? Ahem. Oops, I mean, thank you so, so much kindly for the invite, princess. Heh. So you bother my mom even though I warned you not to. Oh, thanks. I get scared to talk to her sometimes, even though I know that... Um, never mind. I guess we have time to play now, so see you at the playground. Confetti!
This is how I travel. This is a Metroidvania, yes. You unlock Ragdoll. And it lets you uh, progress to the next area. Junk for trash. Litter. Oh boy, litter. I can't believe people just throw stuff wherever. I know, we can rinse this off and recycle it for the game. I'm gonna clean up the environment. After I wash my hands, yeah. Trash! Give me all the trash. You look like a kid that gets their hands dirty, am I right? Uh, seen you scurrying around, grabbing things off the ground. You know what I see in you? Potential. I happen to be a connoisseur of fine junk, such as these specimens you see before you. You wouldn't happen to want them, would you? Uh, probably. Gah, knew it the moment I laid my eyes on you. You're a trash fiend just like me. I haven't seen a pickup game like yours since I was in diapers, and my dear mother was changing them. You mean the cans? Thanks, I've been cleaning up the environment. Ho ho ho, heart of gold on this one, eh? Well, whatever gets the trash in cans. If my heart felt respect, my doors are open to you. Thanks, so can I have one of these? You may have misunderstood, compadre. My shop is open, but I still have to make a living. Uh, what? I still gotta buy it. Afraid so, but I'll sweeten the deal with some exclusive insider information. No extra charge. Free, yes, let's hear it. You're aching for trash. Take a dive in a trash can. <laughs> what? You root around in trash cans? That's disgusting. A one-stop shop for the strong of constitution, provided people have the decency to use them. You're squeamish, just knock them over. Boom. Now it's litter, your specialty. Blech, I don't know. Suit yourself. Not my business where you get the trash as long as you can pay. When you are ready to pay, my wares are ready to browse. Turn the trash can into litter somehow. Okay, how much are these? So what'll it be? Trash pick and stick ancient gong disassembler. Disassembly blizer. I'm proud of that purchase kit. It's a bona fide disassembler in mint condition. You're that mint condition as a never used. I'll tell it to anyone who asks about it. What's the gun? Ranged hue applicator. Made that one myself. It's a junk squirt gun loaded with chemi I mean non-toxic paints. Ever wanted to paint an impromptu mural from 30 yards away?
Yeah, gun. Oh, I can destroy things with this. I like how we're cleaning up trash just to send toxic paint all over the place. Oh, this is a weapon. <laughs> I'm using this as like a sword. Hurry up, all the points are this way. Is this one just me? Oh. Yeah, slow down, or you might lose a heart. Wow, you did it. I tried to shoot you, I was curious. Thank goodness, they were everywhere. Heard someone needed monsters, so I made some. I built and built and built all over the place. But then I actually looked at one. I had no idea how scary they were. Thank you for saving me from my own creations. Thank you for uh, making everything. The playground! We were here at the start of the game. And now I can climb to the top. Easily. Oh, there's my sister. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with the ragdoll. You gotta do that thing where you, uh, you, like, jump off. Wait, can you, can you go in a full circle? That was always the fear when you were a kid, that you would go so high you'd end up in a full circle. I was always scared of that. Oh! Full circle! Woo! Let's go! Can't bother Big Sis yet. We've got to finish the town first. this place. Tom! Hey, little hero, look who finally showed up. You were the one who was late in the first place. Oh, right. Oh, whoops. At least we're both here now. You want to start decking this place out? Sure, you mentioned some decorating ideas. What did you have in mind? Totally, totally. So check this. We're doing the fantasy adventure angle, right? Take a look around for a sec. Does this place not scream beautiful fantasy adventure town waiting to happen? Uh, sure, probably. I guess I could see that. It's not enough just to see it, my friend. You gotta feel it. Allow me to get you acquainted with the command center. So many sticky notes. Where did you get this? Some angry dude gave it to me for a few empty two liters in an old magazine. Whoa, awesome. I know, we can use it to sketch out our ideas. Give it a try. What should we turn that thing into? What, that little awning? I don't know, I'm not good at coming up with these types of ideas. Oh, come on, give it a go. I bet it'll turn out better than you expect. Uh, alright. <laughs> like this. House. Uh, ta-da! 
It's, it's, um, uh, how do I, uh, oh, hero. You know I'd never lie to you, right? I told you, I stink at this sort of thing. I've truly been made the fool. Oh, you know who'd be great at it, though? Yep, Jill and Martin have great ideas. Avery probably has, like, a hundred. True. Good thing I just so happen to know where they all are. Martin was with his crew at the splash pad, right at the bottom of the windmill. Avery's at the amphitheater, way up the mountain. I heard rumors they have a restaurant up there. Jill is cramming with her study buddies in the woods. Check the pavilion under the big tree. If any of them are game, tell them they have Carte Blanche to set up their own command center wherever. That is with one exception. This building here is all mine. You got plans for it? Oh yeah, big plans, little dude. You just send some eager beavers my way. It's about to go down on this playground, you feel me? It's about to go down when we make it a town. Where no one will frown and we wear the crown. And also a gown. Um, anyway, see you around. Bars! <laughs> Courage be with you, my most radical pal. Go forth and collect the hearts of the world. Oh, and tell your sis I said hi. So we can, like, we can build a silly little fake town. This is great. Hey, little hero, you ready to get down to business on this extreme playground makeover? I think so. Let's see your big amazing plan. You bet, my heroic helper. Feast your eyes on this. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Castle! We have some friends to help out, right? It's gonna be so rad. So rad. Let's pull the trigger. Castle! It's... it's little hero. It's... Oh, great. Great. Great doesn't even begin to describe it. It's magnanimous. It's unassailable. It's awesome. Oh, great. Never before, my friend, has an epic king had a worthier domain. Let's call it a rat. Castle. Hopefully the, uh, you know... The adults are okay with us just building our own stuff on the public playgrounds. Oh, it's you. Oh, woe is me, a beautiful princess trapped in the tallest tower. What's this? A hero arrives to spirit me away to a life of adventure. Or, no, sorry, that's um the next hero, actually. I'm just saying hi. Gee whiz, you kids sure can climb around in a hurry. Don't get yourselves hurt. Not on my watch, at least. I would never get myself hurt. I'll just ragdoll off every tallest building in the... in the area. I think I broke something. Go up the slide. You ever go up the slide as a kid? I can't go up the slide. There's that game where you're like, you gotta escape. It's like tag on the playground. And going up the slide is always the strat for that one. Slide! Yawn, I'm playing, I'm playing. Really, don't start without me. Just give me one minute to snore.
Still can't get the exquisite design of those slimes out of my head. Maybe I can trade for some slime merchandise, or commission a slime artist. On second thought, maybe I'll just keep admiring them from afar. You need to make a slime sona. Oh, these are indestructible. Oh! <laughs> the aerial gun. Look at all these monsters. Maxi, thanks for the 22. Oh, I just got a bunch. That was like bowling. We are, in fact, little, little gatoring. We're little gamering right now. This game is so good. It's pointing toward our house. Pirate ship. But yeah, I think I feel like this game, uh, see, a short hike was amazing, and it's definitely similar to that game. But I think this game encapsulates more of like the childhood nostalgia and experience. I feel like that's what it's going for and it's doing it really well currently. How's a beautiful day? You're surrounded by skeletons. Hold on. What did you do? You broke them all. Yep, I saved you from the scary monsters, right? Haha. <laughs> no, I put hard work into those. You just ran in here and destroyed them. Oh, oops. You picked up all their materials, right? Give them back and we'll call it even. How much was there? Um. 80. Yep, that's what I remember. Actually, you know what? You're not so bad. Hmm. You need some of this too, right? Here, you can have some back. Don't worry about it. I think I could have just got away with saying 30, but I honestly didn't know at all. <laughs> it probably was 30. Well, I just got like a bunch from just killing two. Yeah, you get a lot just from hitting one. Like that was 12. That was nine. Probably was pretty high actually. Trash. It's also just, it's so much fun to move around and like, do a bunch of stuff in this game. You got the rag doll, you got the shield sir. Oh, I actually got up somewhere. Whoa. 
They're combining together. No! Uh, we'll have to get the other two later. Because I can't help myself from ragdolling off cliffs. Who needs a sword? <laughs> Truck. Got a beach rock. I mean, an enchanted one. Suzanne can. or enchanted ore. Suzanne can smith this into something cool. Maybe it'll be a magic sword or an amulet. I can't wait to see. be afraid of little drops like this. Now I jump off cliffs and ragdoll with no fear. Ah! Gun. I have gun. <laughs> I keep- I don't know why I think the ragdoll button is like unequipped gun, I keep pressing it. Oops. Whoa! Hi everyone. You guys eating lunch? That looks really good. I guess. I don't really like mine. Uh, me either. Maybe we can give it to someone else. But I'm hungry. B. Ritney. Should definitely eat something. Nutrition is important. But if you're going to give it away anyway, if you can give it to each other. Oh, like a trade? Sounds perfect. Who wants mine? Oops. Um... Never fear, folks. The green hero shall solve this lunchtime puzzle. Talk to each of you and figure out which lunch would be best for each person. Oh, cool. I want a lot of food, please. Um, I'm really hungry. I like salty food, but I only want a small snack. Chips. I like something light and healthy, please. Apple. I'm stuffed. I feel healthy and strong. I got just what I wanted. Thank you, Green Hero. Happy to help. Should go do something at the playground now. Yeah, good idea. See you there. We're now going to recruit you children to build things for us. Oh! Screw homework! Oh, the guitar fell off. Sorry whoever's guitar that was. Alright, time to relax. It's relaxing time. that? Trash! Give me it. I 
can't pick up this trash. I think it's because I knocked it into the water. infinitely jump on water. right now. Maybe I should just go home. Who's that? Don't go home. Hi, I'm doing a big game at the playground and, um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just don't really want to talk or move or think right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. There's some other kids across the lake. We might want to play with you. Did you crash this boat or is this unrelated? have to destroy the wildlife, of course. It's part of the game. Is this where the, uh, the rock guys were? Is this somewhere else? There's a higher spot. We need to get up there. You're the hero kid, yeah? That's me. Bad news. I had a flash of inspiration and created the greatest obstacle course ever made. That doesn't sound like bad news at all. Problem is, I kind of took it too far. Once you fire it up, the monsters show up in really precarious spots. It's like insanely sketchy. There's no challenge too great for the green hero. I'll give it a try. Nope, sorry, it's too hard. Uh, at least let me try it. Can't, it's impossible. I can do it. No way. Watch me. Uh oh. I don't even know where they all are. I go. There's a couple here. Where's the last? There's one here. There's more. Where? I don't know where it is. Okay, well, clearly I need to find where they actually all are first. The 
course it's too good, dude. Don't do it, you're gonna hurt yourself. The only one getting hurt will be those monsters. When I smash them. Okay, I'm gonna start from the highest point. No, stop grabbing trees. No. One. If these are the last two, I got it. Where is it? I don't know where the last ones are. I can't find them. There's one in the in the middle. Where's the middle? I was here, wasn't I? Trees? Here? How did I miss this one? I definitely got that one. This one? What did I miss this time? I consistently miss one of them at least. No, there's one at the very top. I saw it that time at least. Use gun. That's a good point. Dude, I missed it again. Did I get that one? What did I miss this time? I don't know why I can't, I'm incapable of doing this. Oh, there's one at the very top of that one. Frick. I don't know, I'm, I'm very inaccurate. I don't know if that's the strat. Okay, well I choked this one for sure. But I think I should like get the top ones first. No. 
No, I choked. I don't know the route. This is a terrible route. Wait. Wait, what? I was literally... I didn't even hit these ones. It glitched. It gave it to me for free. There was literally a couple I didn't get yet. Whatever. <laughs> I feel like I could have got them anyway. I told you, the green hero triumphs over impossible odds. You sure showed me. Gravity has nothing on the green hero. Next time you should probably wear, like, a helmet or something. I don't need a... Actually, that's probably a good idea. Wait, I can have a princess tiara? Warning, turns into a turnip at midnight. I'm wearing this. See you at the playground. I'm so excited. Pretty gator. I'm getting paint in the water. Want to come play a game at the playground? Is that still on? Sure, I'll come play in a minute. I want to skip rocks for a bit longer. Can I try? Sure, there's all sorts of good rocks around. Help yourself. Oh no, I can. I can. I just throw rocks at people now. <laughs> I can get one or two skips, but I really want to see one skip three times. How about? You see me skip three times. Isn't that more impressive? Oh shoot. Four, five, six, oh. All right, how do I, uh, there we go. Oh, great job. Yeah, I definitely wasn't trying to throw it at you. Dang, you must have found a really good rock. Maybe I'm just bad at this. Anyway, I'll come play with you at the playground now. See you there. Throwing rocks and stuff. Did I just start a speedrun? Whale? There's an actual whale here. In a hat. Hello. Billy. Um, excuse me. Could you please... Ow. Could you please help me? There's something stuck in my blowhole. It's making it hard to breathe. Could you please climb up there and see what it is? Please. Is 
that a bowling ball? Ah! Oh shit. Oh, that feels much better, thank you. Let me back up. Yes, it has a beautiful hat. Okay, there's one there. Oh, I got that one. There we go, I think I got them all. Feels much better now. They pulled that whatever it was out of me, thank you. Did you go somewhere once you were done? Your blue hole blasted me into outer space. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, it was awesome. Oh, well, um, if you ever want to do it again, feel free to climb up there. I don't mind. Like how there's just like an actual whale. Like we're all bipedal animals. But Billy's just actually a whale. Shooter game. Bomb? Should I be hitting the bombs? Okay, I've already been here. Last one down eats socks for breakfast. Last one down does the dishes tonight. Oh, there's the turtle guy. I didn't talk to these other two yet. I also didn't climb this whole thing. Where the bracelet person is. I want more bracelets. My word, if it isn't the great hero who seeks to unite us all at the heart of the world. Well, you already know about the game. A good marketeer must always keep their nose in the latest news. I adore the idea. I've already devised a quest for you. Awesome. Better yet, I've incorporated elements of my research project. Oh man. Around here, paper currency is scarce, but our hearts and lunchboxes are brimming with life. Conditions are perfect to experience real-life bartering. A cupcake for a keychain, three juice boxes to build a fence, that sort of thing. I have paper currency, sort of. It's paper. Fortunately, I lack even half of your creativity with raw confetti, so it holds no value to me. However, I do have a heroic service I need to be performed. Maybe you'd be up for it? Well, I guess if it's a heroic service. Up on that nearby hill, in the land where the leaves never change, there's a horde of shape monsters. Shape monsters? You mean shapeshifters? You might catch them doing a pinch of shifting, but mostly they're just... they just shape. Whatever they are, they have a small chance to drop a special yellow triangle. Heroes are all about getting yellow triangles. I knew you'd appreciate that part. Once you have the yellow triangle, I'll trade you anything in my shop for it. 
Cool, what's in the shop? Right, of course. Let me get it all laid up for you. Here it is, a fine selection, I dare say. Have a look around if you like, otherwise I wish you safe passage in the hills. A uh, plate? Uh, hay? And drugs. I don't know, what is that supposed to be? Chalk? I'm not sure. Yeah, we gotta get the Triforce. Come on, fly. Please fly. Are you talking to a fly? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think anyone could hear me. I'm trying to get a good photo of the bird in that tree. You know, not... Just the normal looking bird. Don't question how it's weird that there's normal birds. And that there's like, this exact bird but human form up on the hill. How come? Um, well, there's a study group from a fancy prep school in the park today. I hope if I share my bird studies with them, they'll let me join with them. They don't have any good pictures, and the bird I'm watching hasn't moved in hours. Um, maybe if you throw something up there, it'll get spooked and fly off. Oh no, I wouldn't want to hurt, risk hurting it. But I guess if someone climbed up there to scare it off, that would be okay. Rock. <laughs> Chorp. Final climate. Chorp, chorp. Okay, it's a bit tall of a tree. I think I need a bracelet. Maybe I can stand on these. Uh... No, that's not solid. Okay, anyways. Triforce. Used to see Jean's shape monsters. I'll defeat a couple and be back with the triangle in no time. They're certainly shape monsters. See, look, the same bird is right here. Isn't that strange to any of you? How rare is this drop? Half a cheese sandwich. Finally, I must have cleared out the whole forest for this yellow triangle. Not the kind I was expecting. But it must be what Jean wanted. Time to go trade up. It certainly is a triangle. Oh, I have your rock, by the way. I got the ore. Great, the forge is hot, and so is my smithing spirit. Set it here and we'll get started. Wow. What, is it a good rock? Looks like basalt. Seafloor basalt with veins of quartz. Salt is perfect because it's easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. I don't know how to say rock names, I'm probably butchering them. Not to mention the fault lines are superb. It should fracture into the shape we want all on its own. And you know that right around the time Paleolithic animals evolved to walk upright, they would... Alright, yes. It's a good rock. Wait, that was important lore. Uh, sorry, yes, it is a really good rock. It has cool lines, which of course means it is very magic. 
Now all we have to do is heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. Pressure. Should I sit on it? I was thinking you hit it a bunch. You know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence! I can do violence. Violence! Then have at it, hero. Hone your tool of violence into one of creation. Violence! Here, do you feel the fire of creation igniting your heart? Feel the Earth's power surging through your bones? Look how magical it is! Brace yourself, one final touch to stabilize it. I'm going in! Whoa, whoa, ah! Almost there! Ha! Ah. We... we did it! Transformation is complete! From ash and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world. What is it? What is it? Is it a magic sword? Is it a laser wand? A power ring? A key to the underworld? Better than all that by a landslide. This is a historical landmark. Have a look for yourself. You've earned this noble tool. <laughs> it's just tape to stick to it. <laughs> It's a rock attached to a stick with a piece of string and some lines on it, I guess. Is this it? Can you see a little hero? Isn't it just a rock and a stick? It's transformative. The footsteps of the engineers of old, we forged the foremother of all tools from nothing but the Earth's bounty. Must be millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now, since our two very distinct lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods as indistinct, in which case... Ah, no more lore! Please, no more! Suit yourself. Well, that wraps up my project for today. I'll head to the playground as soon as the other paragons are finished. Are you sure you don't want to hang around and hear all about... Nope, thanks for the rock. See you there, bye! Lizard. Hello, Lizard. But I'm a Lizard. Isn't that strange, Lizard? But I'm a Lizard. But I can walk on two legs. And, like, talk. But you're just this little... little guy. How strange. Hi, Anton. Hey. So you're like the beetle guy. Just the normal guy for now. Still waiting on the tragic surgical mishap that will transform me into the beetle guy. Huh? Never mind. Did you need something? Yeah, I'm getting people together for a game, and there's a legend of hero character you'd be perfect for. A beetle-related character, I assume? Yeah, they love beetles, and they talk... Funny and silly rare stuff. It'll be fun. I'll pass. Oh. I've got my own rare beetles to find. That's okay. Do you want help with that instead? Really? Yeah, I'm the best at helping. I'll find that beetle so fast you'll be done in no time. I'm in no rush. But another pair of eyes couldn't hurt. Take a look at this. Oh, that one. I've seen that one in science books. It's a Hercules beetle. They're native to this forest, but not common. Are they really that big? Only if they eat their vegetables. They're slow and clumsy compared to other beetles, so about as fast as us. You have to surprise it. Gotcha. They eat rotting wood and fruit. I usually look around fallen trees. Also, listen for a sandpaper sound they make. They stridulate their abdomen against their elytra, elytra to... Gotcha. I have all the beetle knowledge in my brain. I'm a beetle finding machine. No more beetle facts required. Right, well... Take this in case you see one. Bug net! 
Got the bug net. Perfect for capturing giant evil beetles. Good or evil, I'll take whatever you can find. Bug net. Oh shoot! Wait, I need to get them the sandwich. Cheese sandwich. I forgot about that. Trash bin! Apparently that works. Yes! I am the trash knight. This is my new armor. I am now undefeatable. Jokidian, thanks for the 10. Oh no, my armor. Is this the yellow triangle you wanted? I had to fight my way through the entire forest, but I got it. Yes, it is. But um, well, about that. What? Why is Avery here? Hi, little hero. Check out all this cool stuff I just bought. It's going to cost me a bushel of apples. But I don't know what a bushel is, so I haggle it down to two apples. What, Jean? It's um. Well, you were taking a while to find my lost lunch, and I was getting very hungry. I got a bit desperate. Oops. I can't just sell the whole shop while I'm doing you a heroic service. No, of course not. Very bad form. Oh, this is quite the pickle. Wait, little hero. Did you want to buy some of the stuff? I was supposed to get one as a quest reward, but... Okay, let's haggle for it. Haggle? Uh, well... Let's see. Esme will want the grass for rituals. The shiny beads are perfect for Andromeda. I was going to use this weird frisbee as a serving platter, but I can part with it. What do you want for it? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish and focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to contrast the dark cutthroat world of competition cooking. Something that protects... Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Something like, I don't know, half a cheese sandwich. The who only finishes half of such a delicacy. Seriously? Yeah. I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. Finally, I got this really fancy looking big plate. Man, bartering is easy. Sorry, you won't have a fancy plate to put your sandwich on. What do you mean? Oh dang, you're right. It's okay, with my bartering skills, pretty soon I'll be rolling in plates. You'll have your own plate mobile. Way I go in my amazing patent pending plate mobile. Cartwheel! Bye, little hero, bye! Oh, I didn't get to see the cartwheel. Well, that was fortuitous. You got off the hook easy. I hope you learn not to make promises like that next time. Absolutely. From now on, I'm never doing business on an empty stomach. Guess this means the research project is cancelled, huh? Heavens no, this kind of data is indispensable. What? To witness an exchange of goods completely outside of my influence was inspiring. If I can convert the raw materials lying around into more goods, I can stimulate even more such trades. Say, you're good at making things. How about a business partnership? Ah! Uh. Okay, now I just need to find Buck. Alright, bye, Ingar. I 
I have so much money. Is there anything else I can create? Space dome. Oh, I can make a princess wand too. And a paintbrush. Art palette. Setting with this will bring color to your world. And your pants. There's so many cool things. I, I just spent all my money. Paint! Destroying the environment. Woo! Chemicals. It doesn't cover my face. <laughs> it's fine. A traveler, you seek directions once again. Nah, I'm gonna just look around. This is where Billy is. I'm poisoning Billy. That may be true. Look how fast I am at swimming. like a cave. It's like a whole area here I haven't been. Gator is cute. How do I change my weapon? Oh, that's the ragdoll is from the That's the teddy bear thing. Very inaccurate with this, by the way. Look, they're friends. Oh no, which ones are real? With the pots. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here, hero. Some crafty monsters have hidden amidst my priceless heirlooms. I can't tell which is which. I only own three pots, but there are seven here. If you can tell the difference. Can you dispatch these monsters? Please don't break any real pots if you can help it. Well, you see, those are the three real ones. All right, got them. Oh no. <laughs> I think you defeated them. I think I defeated your pots as well. Looks like all three pots didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That's okay, I'm just happy to be free of those evil creatures. You can break the other pots if you want. They're worthless without the whole set. Oh, um, are you sure? Sure, why not? It's kind of like having my collection signed by the hero. Either way, I'll see you back at the playground. See, it's fine. They don't care.
suddenly Breath of the Wild? This is a Breath of the Wild-like game. There's a glider. There's a climb. Truly the spiritual sequel. Yeah, and they're shield surfing. I think Breath of the Wild, I think Tears of the Kingdom needs this button. Wouldn't that make the game just better? You could do this. They clearly have the ragdoll functionality, because when you, like, get hit off a cliff, you, like, ragdoll. So just allow us to press the button, you know? Look at these guys. They're now dead. No! Whoa, what's going on here? Is this the restaurant? You can, like, sit on something and just ragdoll off of it. Hi, everyone. And there were a bunch of slimes, but my favorite ones were squat flat like this. Sounds like fun. Who else is all... Who all else is playing? Only everyone on the island. It's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, it's a little hero. I'm just telling all my friends about your game. Oh, are you still playing? I thought maybe you gave up on helping me impress my sis. Yeah, she seems busy, but that shouldn't stop us from having our own fun. Oh, 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 you're gonna love this. Remember when you said you wanted more drama? These guys are theater veterans, certified acting professionals. Came up with a bunch of great ideas. And Jermita, what was your idea again? Okay, so I'm hearing monsters, discovery, and epic adventure. So I think for Act 2, we go to the most epic place imaginable. Space? The final frontier, the worlds beyond the stars, a space opera for the ages. Um, I don't know about... You always want to do space. I thought we were, didn't do... I thought we were doing my cowpoke idea this time. Digi saloons and duels at high noon. That's pretty epic. Shh, compared to an edge of adventure that spans the galaxy? Hardly. I'll play cowpokes, Velma, but only if your cattle can handle a vampire attack. A what attack? Esme, please. The Wild West's appeal is its gritty realism. You can't be a vampire. Fine, then I want to do space, too. Vampire would never survive in space. There's nowhere to hide from the sun. <laughs> Ugh. But there's a way we can make everyone's idea work. What do you think, little hero? Uh, well, we're already doing a heroic fantasy thing. So everyone should just do that instead. No one gets left out because there's no space opera or western vampire drama to begin with. You too. What kind of fantasy game doesn't have vampires? None of you have any culture. Got a whole solar systems of culture, and I won't play without them. Hang on, guys. If we just talk this out a little more, I know we can make everyone happy. Sorry, Avery. This is starting to sound like a lot of rules. And cowgirls don't like to play by the rules. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna go herd some cattle, and it's gonna be epic. Aren't you a cattle yourself? <laughs> Velma, wait. Great, now I have to go recruit a new engineer. Anyone who doesn't turn to dust in the sun is welcome to join me. Rude. You can at least work vampires in, right, little hero? Um, I mean, maybe we could. Uh, it's fine, Avery. I need to go brood in the shade anyway. How still they go, darlings. Here's hoping you mortals come to your senses about the greatest of all monsters. Jeez, that was a lot more drama than I was ready for. Oh, you win some and lose some, right, buddy? Ah, uh, don't worry, this kind of thing happens all the time. 
does? That sounds exhausting. It is, but I also it also means I know exactly what to do. These guys are all so creative. They just need a place where they can all be creative together. Conjuring an idea with my magical fantasy powers. Are you sure we can't just cut our losses and head for the playground? In the middle of a friendship emergency? Sorry, little hero. No can do. Just think of the scope they all bring to the fantasy. Plenty of heroes get attacked by aliens, or negotiate with the undead, or perform laborious farming and landscaping chores for fun. Well, I guess if it'll get you to come with me, we can try some of that stuff. Yay! Okay, okay, I have the perfect idea, but I need some time to put it together. Can you try to convince everyone to come back here and check it out? You're great at that. Sure, okay, I'll do my best. Spectacular. Friendship emergency start. Food. Maybe, why are you setting up the food stall? Did you forget what we were doing again? It all plays into my master plan. As soon as you bring everyone back, all will be revealed. Balance on the pole. <laughs> Mario 64. Bye, Cinnamon. <laughs> it's just looking straight up. On a quest to the top of the mountain, a diabolical witch switched gravity. We had to turn upside down or else we'd fall into the sky. Now that I think about it, she probably just made that up on the spot. That's why she's the best. I feel like that's dangerous to <laughs> be doing this on a clip. <laughs> oh, it's it's the bracelet monkey. At the very peak of the mountain. Yodele hee hoo. Atop this peak, your soul will taste what it truly craves. Bracelets, or you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 500. Hoo-hoo, wonderful! Another beauty joins your collection. You got another bracelet, now you can climb for even longer. Is it just me, or do these things really work? If only I could stay, but greater heights call out to me. Goodbye. Greater heights. I think we're at the top of the world. Alright chat, I'm gonna go on break, but I'm gonna keep playing this because it is very cute and fun. So thanks for watching so far. I'll be back in a little bit. Hello, thanks for the 24. Annex2 team, thanks for the 25. Nice seeing me in your Twitch recap. <laughs> Thanks for watching enough to put me on there. Alright, BRB everyone.
Hello. <laughs> the slug vibe. Oh, chat, I don't know if you've seen, but, uh... Well, first of all, there's a Rain Worlds expansion coming out. Oh, I need to turn this off, so... But it's been announced to be released in January. So in January, we're gonna do some Rain World streams. We're gonna try out all the new slug cats and stuff. So that'll be the return of Rain World. I know I haven't really been playing it for a while. Because I've been waiting for the, the expansion. But I'll definitely be doing some streams of the of downpour in January. Oh, I got two full two full bars now. <laughs> the bracelets are just a full circle. I mean that makes sense. Down per. <laughs> well, I don't know if slug cats purr. It would make sense if they did. I begin streams. At Wednesdays and Fridays. I don't do either of those days. <laughs> I do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then I sometimes do other days. But though, if I do any other days, it's like a bonus. I've probably streamed every day. At, at some point, I've probably streamed every day. Or like, it was in my schedule at some point. Wednesday's probably the least likely, because for a very long time, Wednesdays have been my grocery day. Oh, there's a space person. Oh, it's you again, green one. So you finally realize the superiority of the sci-fi setting? Sure, yeah. Space is totally better than high fantasy. I've decided. More importantly, Avery wants to show you a really cool science thing back at the amphitheater. Intriguing, but you couldn't have come at a worse time. We're deep in enemy territory, surrounded by space monsters. Oh, that's fine. We fight all sorts of monsters. Space one should be no problem. So sure of yourself, you don't even have a blaster. But think of it, you don't have a protective suit either. How do you survive the vacuum of space? With this helmet. Uh, magic? My cool fantasy spells protect me from vacuums or whatever. Magic, technology to surpass the Space Federation? Sounds too good to be true. Smell the space monster lie. Could it be that you're native to this strange planet? That could only mean... Ack! You've led them right to me. What a cunning ruse. Oh no, I'm not with them. Even if they do kind of look like me, that's weird. <laughs> they have my eyes. If you're true to your word, then help me dispatch these monsters. I will lay down covering fire from here. Are you layering down fire? Pew pew! I mean, I have an actual gun. Gun. Green one, you defeated them. Impressive green one. My apologies for doubting your ludicrous notions of space magic. It's okay, after all. Magic is just like science we don't understand, right? 
We'll discuss such preposterous notions later, wizard. There's still danger afoot. Quickly, take this. It's a foam dart blaster. The ideal tool for losing foam darts. <laughs> Space aliens rarely travel in such small packs. It's only a matter of time until... Egad, another wave! Quickly, wizard, blast them all! I swear, we had, like, nerf guns at my house. And we'd only use them indoors, and somehow... We would lose these constantly. It didn't make sense, because where the hell were they all going? This battle is nearly won, wizard, but whoa, we have awakened a most fearsome foe. The mothership. Oh shit. What the heck, where did that even- There's no time, we must dispatch her before she summons an entire army. Is this gonna, like, fall on someone? <laughs> oh! It just exploded. Billy, you okay down there? I must say, I never expected to defeat an alien horde side by side with a magician. Me neither. Maybe an alien invasion in Fantasyland could be fun after all. I suppose I could bind my creativity to just one planet for the sake of my peers. In the meantime, I'll return to home base to consort with Avery on their discovery. Until we meet again, may you, you outpace the light that guides you, wizard. May all your wildest dreams come true, spaceman. Nerf guns shoot nerf bullets into another dimension. It, they like it doesn't make sense because we'd buy so many of them and we'd always be losing them over and over. Like you'd buy a full box of darts, and then it end up you'd end up with like half of what you bought. And yet, even when you like, we'd like move the couches out to like clean the room, the living room and stuff, and you'd find like two back there. Where'd the other like fifty go? It's, there's definitely some, some magic going on. You're nearby, I can feel it. Scooter. Chat, I named my... We had a rabbit at some point when I was a kid and I named it Scooter. What's nearby, enemies? No, pots. Pots! I feel them looming above me. It's freaking me out. Also, I'm allergic to ceramic. Please destroy them all. I can't take it. What? Where? Why are their legs jello? Jello walk. Like these pots? This one? <laughs> you did it, they're gone? Yep, all gone, no more pots. Oh good. Um, yay, thanks, etc. Yeah, just, I was so unnerved that I never appreciated them. The craftsmanship, the artwork. Oh, uh, sorry? Maybe my greatest enemy was actually my greatest friend. Need to learn more about pots. Thank you. Without you, I would have stayed afraid. So, see you in town? Yes, see you there. Let's go princess mode. There's like a barcode on the back of this plate. Whoa! Ah, I just smashed into a rock. Ah, she was just telling me to be careful.
Yeah, you don't need to tell me to be careful. I'm always careful. Okay, I regret doing that because I think <laughs> there is more I have to do up there. Oh, just use Billy. Some friends, but I just just look at them. They're misshapen and gross. No, they're great. Look at them. Can't stand to look at them. Can you get rid of them? You want me to destroy them? I can do that, but yeah, just yeah. They're beautiful. Oh, good, they're gone. Well, I got rid of them. Yeah, thanks. Hey, why don't you try again? Practice makes perfect after all. Huh? You think so? After such a failure? Oh, come on, I believe in you. Just give it another shot. I... maybe. I... Okay, I can do it this time. I know I can. Here I go. <laughs> Turned out exactly the same. Ugh. Why do I even bother? Just get rid of them. Well, but, uh, please? Well, Alright, if you say so. Yeah, figures. But, yeah, I don't think there's a point. I give up. No, you can't give up. Oh, come on. It'll just end up the same as last time. You don't know that. Come on, one more try. Eh. I believe in you. Okay, okay, yes. I can do it this time. I know I can. Here I go. <laughs> huh, I did it again. Oh well, guess it's just not gonna happen. Can't do anything right. Look at the purple guy though. I love the purple thing. Hmm. I don't know, they're pretty scary and monstrous. Monstrous? Scary? Gosh, I can't stand to look at these scary monsters. Oh, oh, I can maybe see what you mean. I can just barely, maybe if I can summon up some courage, I could take them on. But it's so scary. No, you can't. I know you can do it. Please, destroy them. I believe in you. Oh, gosh, then I guess I'll have to do it then. Here I go. You did it! You defeated them! Not only with your help and encouragement. Well, thanks for everything, Traveler. Love you, Neil. What are these red things, by the way? Candles. Oh, this is like the vampire candles, probably. <laughs> The throne. Ah, mortal bumbles into my dark domain. I do not heed the posted warnings, and now you'll pay dearly. I'm a hero of legend. No evil monster can defeat me. Defeat you, huh? After your awful take on vampires, you're not worth the effort. No, your punishment will be the icy sting of my cold shoulder. Oh, that's it? Uh, okay, ouch, I guess. That shoulder sure was cold. Wait, I forgot, I do have something important to tell you. Time out for a second. No, really, it's a message from Avery. I want you to come see something cool and vampire at the amphitheater. Come on, you aren't cold-shouldering Avery too, are you? 
Okay, okay. If you come back, I'll be a vampire too. We can do vampire stuff. Huh, as if I would grant you the honor. You aren't worthy of the vampiric mantle. I can be worthy. How do I be worthy? Fine question. What could you possibly offer me, an immortal being of the night? Thirsts only for evil and desires only darkness. We take an offering of nothing less than... <gasps> ice cream! Ice cream. The ice cream cart is here. Forget everything I said. If you bring me a cone of my favorite sorbet, I'll consider it a fitting apology. Really? Just bring you ice cream from right over there? So tantalizingly close, isn't it? But alas, it is guarded by the sun, my immortal enemy. I've pleaded with the vendor in the past to join me in the shade, but to no avail. Like, come on, it's one measly river to cross. Your cart can't be that heavy. Mortal sometimes. So yeah, this cave has many amenities, but ice cream is not one of them. Bring me some and we will discuss your request for immortality. Immortality, I can't speak. Why is this the second game I've played where there's a vampire who wants ice cream? In the past, like, month. Is this like a thing that... Is this a vampire... Is that, do vampires like ice cream? No mortals allowed. It's Haida. Part-timer. Oh joy, a customer. And you're friends with that little girl in the cave? It's my lucky day. That's right, I'd like one ice cream, please. Sure, it's three bucks. Only three, that's a great deal. Here you are, my good vendor. What is this? <laughs> it's trash money. It's loot from quests. This is torn up takeout bag. You can see the grease on the scrap. I need real paper. I don't understand. Real money? You know, cash? Dollars? It's three dollars. Okay, I hear what you're saying. I'll give you 300 of my loot for the cone. So the entire greasy takeout bag? No, I don't think my boss would appreciate that. Listen, if you don't have real money, I gotta get going. Hold on for just a second. Why me? Hey, Esme, slight problem. The ice cream person isn't playing. They want three real dollars. <laughs> Uh, you see what I mean about that one? So needy. Do you have any adult money? I only have 50 cents. Wait, no, 55. I have 40, so almost a dollar between us. Hang on, I might know <laughs> who has some more. Jill has joined the chat. Hi, Jill. Hey, Scales. Hi, Jill. I'm Esme. Hello, Esme. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the, like, sticker. Hi. Jill, you usually have some money on you, right? Why, yes, heroic traveler. I have plenty of materials, and would be happy to trade. No, sorry, like, actual dollars. I want a quest to buy ice cream. Oh, yes, I usually have ten dollars in case of emergencies. That's more than enough. Unfortunately, most of that is circulating through Gene's gig economy at the moment. Oh, what? We've like sat down at this point. I, could, I still have two dollars I can lend you. Thank you, but we're still five cents short. It's okay, I've got one more person I can ask. Big Sis has joined the chat. <laughs> hey Sis. Hey. Hi Big Sis. Hello, Jill. Hi, Little Hero's Big Sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. <laughs> little Hero, what's going on? Would it be possible to borrow some money? I want to buy an ice cream for my friend. We just need five more cents. You want me to wire you a nickel? Yes, please. Um, are you still there? Sorry, I had to catch my breath. I just sent you six dollars. Get yourself one, too. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Don't eat it too fast. Will do. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you later. See ya. I do have other stops to make, you know. 
You'll be glad you waited, because I would now like two ice creams. I have six dollars right here on my phone. It's not cash. Oh, if you wait for another minute, I can go run and... No, it's fine. I'm sure I have an app or something. Here, send it to this account. Done. Great, what flavor do you want? Sorbet, please. What kind of sorbet? There's more than one? Yes, yeah, sorbet is just different kinds of goop on ice. Um, this is for Cave Girl, right? She always gets the same thing. I'll make two of those, okay? Phew, yes, two of those. For a second, I thought this quest was gonna get even more bloated. What is that? Never mind. Yeah, scooping this one always makes me gag. Here, I'm leaving now. Enjoy. Vampire ice cream. It's red. Sure hope she isn't committing to the bit that hard. <laughs> committing to the bit. Here's your ice cream, oh immortal one. Yes! Ahem, indeed. I accept this treat, and the great lengths you went to acquire it. Your past transgressions are pardoned, and I shall grant thy request. Prepare thyself. Psst, here, put these on. Oh cool, thanks. Vampire outfit! Wahaha, well, look at me. Now I'm a vampire too. KKK. Come, sibling of the night. Let us feast on the icy cream of your labor. Oh, we're right. <laughs> You've barely touched your ice cream, my pupil. Does something trouble you? Uh, no, it's... What flavor did you say this was again? Only the darkest flavor. The darkest and thirstiest of monsters. Black cherry. Oh, yum. I'm done. Ready to go meet Avery at the amphitheater? Kekka, foolish little hero. I never agreed to return with you. What? But the ice cream? You accepted the mantle willingly. Now we are both bound to darkness. Don't you want to see whatever it is they're planning? Yeah, kinda. But that is the vampiric curse. The desire for that which is just out of reach. Alas, all we can do is wait for another mortal to wander by to do our bidding. Oh, right. Stay in the cave forever. It's not so bad in here. I keep a tidy space. We can get you fitted for a nice coffin. You like romance novels? I don't actually have any with me, but I can recite some for you. Don't get too loud or the whole cave might collapse and crush us. Probably think, stop thinking about musicals. Do you wonder what Avery is up to? I can never leave. No, don't leave the cave. Vampires can't go in sunlight. But I really want to. As do I, yet I'm, we mustn't, for it would break continuity. Oh, so if there was a good lore reason we could leave? I suppose so. In that case, I have a solution that makes sense. Sunscreen! I have some sunscreen from home. It's SPF 50,000. I'm invincible. Okay, 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 sure. Let me get some of that too. People, you've opened mine eyes. I only hope everyone else can accept my ways as you have. Yeah, vampire stuff is kind of fun, and tasty. As a token of my gratitude, I will not use my unbound power to lay waste to this world. I appreciate it. I'll be back up the mountain, defiantly facing the brightest ray of sunlight I can find. Farewell. Laser sword. Vampire with a laser sword. And a tower shield. Oh, I slid down this like lying down. 
Trash bin. What is this thing? I think this is actually important pipe work. Actually, do anything with that. Uh, stream's going good. Later, Manor, thanks for the raid. Yeah, we're playing a very cute, relaxing game. On this island trying to make friends and we're like it's basically a giant game that we all the characters have made up it's a lot of fun Someone up here. You. Awesome. Maybe in another five minutes. Samantha with two S's. My friend told me something, but I'm not sure I believe them. So if you're going fast enough, and you jump right when you hit the water, you bounce. I want to try it for myself, but I'm not a good swimmer. Maybe I'll never know for sure. Like that? So you just have to jump right after you hit the water. You have to be going fast though, walking is probably too slow. I don't know what you mean. Oh, just like this? What I've been doing the whole time, okay. <laughs> you did it, I can't believe you did it. I'm gonna go tell everyone at the playground I saw someone really skip on the water. See you there. I thought it was something else. <laughs> I thought I was... I had to do it off the shield. We need a, we need a multiplayer version of this where we can like fight each other with... with gun. Little gator sh battle royale. These look kind of out of place. Billy, what are you doing here? Or is this a different whale? Look at this bendy, this thing's bendy. <laughs> Bendy laser sword. Hello again, nice to see you. you. Want me to throw you up high? Just stand on my blowhole again. Oh, you're just here to help me, okay. Thank you, Billy. Yeet! Snipes. Oh. Hmm. 
Damn it. <laughs> There we go. Oh! Don't fall off. <laughs> Watch this, I'm gonna get all three at once. Never mind. I'm glad I have an unlimited amount of these. It's got the fire arrows. I need to find the cow. I don't know where the cow went. Also, there's someone up here. At some point, I should stop by the playground because we have like so much more people now. I can probably build a lot of things. Mochi. Oh, what's wrong? I climbed up here to look for the hero. Then I remember that I'm scared of heights. Oh, you climbed up too, Traveler. Now we're both scared. Uh, nope, I'm not scared. But you're not. But what if we fall and take fall damage? It will reduce our health and penalize us for climbing so high. Health, fall damage. Oh, we're not including those in our game. <laughs> I mean, I haven't noticed those being a thing. Oh, phew, that's a relief. Yeah, I've been climbing all over without a care. There's canonically no fall damage in this universe. Oh, really? That sounds so fun. Thanks for curing my fear of heights, Traveler. Now I can get down from here and help the town. Give the hero my regards. Burp. Did you lose something? Oh, hey, look, guy. Uh, Traveler. Hey, Traveler guy. I set down my thing. What's it called? Hmm. Set down my green wheelie thing right here, and now I can't find it anywhere. If you're hanging out around here, could you help keep an eye for it? Oh, there's a speed run. Ah! <laughs> Help, I can't get down. Hold on, I'm speedrunning. <laughs> no. Wow. Oof. Oops. Hey, there's no fall damage, so you're fine. We've established that. Are you alright? Fine, I'm fine. Sorry about that. I was just decorating when a gust of wind started blowing all my balloons away. I tried to grab them all, but pretty soon I was blowing away too. Sorry, could you do me another favor and take off... Take these off my hands? I can't even look at them right now. I've got a bag of balloons. Now I can take to the skies and try not to get blown away. Wait a sec. I can just ascend? Well, it seems there's a there's a stamina. <laughs> we can ascend with or without gore. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just love freaking ragdolling so much. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Bye, Maxi. Artsy Beret. We got the full artist outfit. There's one in the tree. The art of destruction. It must have taken a lot of time to build all these, and I'm just kind of destroying them, but that's what everyone signed up for. Isn't as good a swimmer as her yet. And now I'm the best swimmer. Because I can just skip like a stone off the rocks. Yeah, this much cardboard as a kid is like heaven. Something I had as a kid was, uh, so I had this little attic. It, it was, it's like, I showed it on stream once. Probably nobody saw that stream. But it's like this little door in my room and it goes to like this, this little space. Like behind the walls of my room. It's like this tiny little area. And my, my parents put up, like, paper all over all the walls, like this brown paper. And then me and my friends would just, like, draw over it all the time. And there's, like, so much drawings. They're still all there. So it just became, like, this room of, of drawing walls. <laughs> we loved that room. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, a really good idea. <laughs> to, like, find something to do with that attic. Ah! I would never have made it up there myself. Oh. These are kind of making me sad, the, like, the backstory things. Cause she's just like busy now and my my character still wants to play, but it's just a sad like growing up moment, I guess. Yeah, all those background story things, the little memories are my character in Big Sis. Mole. Hey, Palio. Want to make some stuff go boom? Yes, absolutely. I wish more people said hello that way. Okay, yeah, that's the spirit. Wait right there. I got something that will blow you away. Whoa. Uh, are you- ah! Feast your eyes on this. Bowling bomb! <laughs> Is that a firecracker stuck inside a bowling bomb? I don't think I've ever seen something this dangerous in my entire life. And now I'm holding it. 
<laughs> that Opala mine is my greatest creation yet. Roll that down to the end of a tunnel and set it off. You can cause all kinds of chaos. Want to take it for a tumble? There's nothing I want more in the world. Kaha, <laughs> I like your style, Palio. Jet onto that spot right there and I'll lay you out some targets for you to blow up. Might even give you a little prize if you get them all. Kaha. <laughs> This is safe. Did I get them all? Oh, there's more over here. Yeah. Do these blow does this blow up eventually? get this better. It is a very gentle explosion. That was explosive, Palio. I'm all fired up. Kehe. <laughs> you better scram before anyone comes sniffing around. Take this and go have a blast. Later. Thanks for giving me dangerous weapons. Thanks for giving explosives to a child. I love how much like random things you can just get in this game. Inner tube. I want this. Ready to go sledding. This surely won't pop. <laughs> well, now it makes a bit more sense why I'm floating on the water. Oh, I went back to the first island. to try to relax again. I'll get it one of these days. Not today. It seems. It like slides me off every time. There. Relax. is amazing. Best walk animation in any game.
Oh, that was a good shot. Playing Fortnite right now. What are you? You're silly looking. Twig. Hi, hi, hi. I'm playing. I'm playing the big game. Alright, do you have a quest for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a big quest. Big quest for the big game. Okay, what is it? Oh, yeah, what is it? I don't know. I know, I know. Do a flip. A flip? Yeah, yeah, do a big flip. Uh, okay. <laughs> I... Yeah, yeah, you did it. Did I? <laughs> did I really? Here you go. See you later. Bye bye. Uh, yeah. There we go. There's a flip. That's what I was trying to do. Flip. Ah! I just kind of jumped, and then it, they counted it as a flip. Now let's go back to the village. Got a lot of people here. It's no good spot to see the stage when you're at my height. It also makes me want to float back into the air. Almost. I'm still happy you're being back on the ground for a while. Ice cream guy is here. I get chewed out if my boss found out I missed out on this many customers, so here I am. Awesome, can I please have a... Oops, sorry. We're all out of that. Pots here. Pots for set at you. Should you be around all these pots? I thought you were allergic to ceramic. Very. Making them was a nightmare. But it's all worth it to conquer my fear. Plus, every pot you purchase is one less pot around to make me, ah, uh, make me, hot you. Can I actually make anything else here? I might need to wait for, like, my main friends to show up here before I can do things. I didn't know there was a game going on here. Good thing we finished our lunches in time. Um, thank you for helping with that. It's cool seeing everyone here, though. This whole adventure game thing is cool, but I didn't mind skipping rocks for a while, either. Beats doing nothing. Hey, Tom. Uh, it's a good day to be king. Oh, it's a rad day to be a hero, too. Yeah, I think I need, um... my friends to show up here. Seems there's still a lot I haven't been to. Judging by all the cardboard creatures that are still here. Shooter game. Still haven't found the bug. Still need the bug for this quest.
<laughs> I can just do donuts. Oh right, the the bird challenge. I can do that now. Where was that? Oh, it's you, the legendary hero. And there was a hero on an adventure, so I've been waiting all day for you to come by. That's ah, me. Do you need help with some sort of quest? Yes, well, no, I mean, kind of. It's a request. Can I be your sidekick? Oh, um... I've always wanted to be a hero. I have a hero name and a catchphrase and everything. But I don't want... I don't have any work experience. My dad says that's important because of the economy. I don't know about... Please let me be your sidekick. I'll carry your stuff and clean your cape, and... Sure. Well, okay, I guess I could try having a sidekick for a little while. Yes, yes, this is amazing. Thank you, thank you. What should we do first? Carry something up a mountain? Learn about swords? Well, maybe we can start on the playground. We're building a town there. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go right now. Oh, okay. Are you okay? It's tough, I'm fine. I just need to breathe for a second. Okay, let's go. Are you sure you want me to follow you around all day? Sorry, you're really fast. Maybe I wouldn't be a good sidekick after all. I'm sure someone at the playground could use a sidekick. Maybe someone who likes to stay in one spot for a while. You think so? That'd be great. Work experience, here I come. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's that stuff I was holding for you. Did I actually give anything to- oh, bye. <laughs> oh, now they're running. Okay. Uh, I use an Xbox controller for, like, everything. The tree is blocking it. There we go. It's a Razer Xbox One. Wolverine controller. It was pretty expensive, but it's lasted me like two and a half years. Which most controllers don't. Especially the default Xbox One controllers. I do like the Switch Pro Controller, but my problem is, I don't know if it's just on mine, but the bumper buttons sometimes don't, like, register. I don't know if mine's just, like, old or something, but the bumper buttons are a bit sketchy. Also, I think, I think it's starting to drift a bit. The sticks are starting to drift a bit. So I, I'm still using one. I use one when I play on the Switch, obviously. But I definitely prefer this controller. That was a sick jump. Cool setup you got here. The number of people present is like an art piece in of itself. Oh, okay, I guess so. Be sure to credit me if you submit that to any festivals. I finished the big town. GameCube controllers are still the best. I had my GameCube controller, original GameCube controller. I had a couple of them and they're both like perfectly fine after like 15 years. And then I lost one. 
I lost one of them, sadly. But even the one I bought for Smash... I bought like one of those Smash 4 Wii U GameCube controllers. I have like the white one. And that one still works perfectly fine, and I use that for like over a thousand hours of Smash 4. Like those are insane controllers, they're so good. The only thing I don't like about GameCube controllers are the triggers. Because they're like click, 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 click. They have really bad triggers. But in terms of like build, they're like the best built controllers ever made. I'm an airplane, noom, noom, noom. Beep, beep, do a barrel. The quality of Nintendo controllers has definitely gone down. Joy-Cons are freaking terrible. Twig is what body embodiment of what goes on your head. During a test. <laughs> Anything but actually important test thoughts. So I need to get... I'm basically just recruiting everyone to the village. There were a couple I was trying to get done. I need to find like a beetle. I need to find um, the cow person. The cow girl. I don't know where she went though. At this point I've strayed very far off the path. I think it's like up the taller area here somewhere. Yeah, this is like Breath of the Wild meets a short hike. And kind of its own thing. But those are the two I think of. Like, she's gotta be around here somewhere, because this is where the quest started. I love games like this that are just like this. It's basically just a playground with like fun mechanics. And then there's also like a bit of a story and like an objective to do. Where is, where is she though? I'm like, I don't know. The space person was here. The vampire was in, like, the cave. Where was that? Maybe I can kind of logic this out. Where was the cave? Don't think it was over here. always looking out for me. So cute. I can't get up here! <laughs> God damn it. It's like just out of range.
Okay, that's the village. I mean, I prefer you don't ask about Hollow Knight when I'm playing other games, but I'm finishing the bingo on Saturday. But there's literally like two objectives left. So it won't be very long. I mean, I do have to fill out the entire map. this person. the cow. Why are you back here? <laughs> They're all in like two places at once. Are you okay? No, I tripped on a rock and fell onto another rock. Then when I sat, I sat down <laughs> on another rock. Why are there so many rocks on this stupid mountain? Oh, um, well... Everything will be okay. Hey there, I'm sorry that it hurts. Here, have a pat on the head. Other people like those. That does feel a little better. Actually, it feels a lot better. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. Here, you can have all my extra bandages. The spikes could take someone's eye out. Healing head pads. Oh, I think this is where I need to go, actually. Because we've got the... Yep. The cactuses. Can you guys stand still for just a second? Dennis, stay away from that cactus. You'll hurt yourself. Fuck, cattle don't pick their nose. It's you. Sorry, you kind of caught me in the middle of something. Is this how playing cow folks usually goes? Yeah, I mean, no. Well, we were crossing the peaceful prairie, but Sander shouted snake and they all went berserk. Normally I just let themselves... I'd let them tire themselves out, but they're real wound up this time. Sounds like you could use a hand there, partner. Really? You want to round them up? You betcha. I'll, uh... Lasso up those cattle, question mark, real quick. But you know, in a nice way. Normally I wouldn't ask for help from a stranger, but I guess you're a friend of Avery's. Alright, little hero, have a go at it. If you managed to round up these ragamuffins, I'd be mighty grateful. Dude, it didn't... I... Toem used this word too, and <laughs> it's not a word I'm used to. It's also the second time I've had to say ragamuffins in the past <laughs> couple of months. I played short hike, there's just no VOD of it. It was before I saved VODs. There's a VOD of me doing the boat update, but that wasn't a whole lot. Ah, there was a bug around here. I can't see it, but I keep hearing it. Ah! Rar, I'm an evil... Prairie Goblin, I'm going to get you. Ah! Help, Velma, help. <laughs> I'm going to get you. It took me forever to find her. She's good. <laughs> Hide and seek. Oh my god. Little memories are gonna kill me. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! I want two cones, five cones, a hundred cones. Oh, is that something shiny over by your sister? K 
cow kit. Shiny, I want shiny, what is it? I feel all better. I'm gonna run down the mountain as fast as I can. <laughs> exercise is very important, I gotta get more exercise. Hey, last one to race back to your sister loses. Ready? One, two, three, go! Go, go, go! Oh no, I lost. Well, V, you got them all. And in good time, too. I owe you one, little hero. It's good to hear, actually, because... Sissy, I want more ice cream. Xander, shush. I'm in character right now. What did I promise about ice cream? Sorry, right, oops, ahem, moo. Yeah, moo. Thanks for catching us, moo. Sure, huh? So anyway, Avery is... I still haven't found the bug, ah! Did you check your nose? That's where mine was. <laughs> Just screaming. Accurate depiction of children. Excuse me, all of you. Little hero is talking right now. Let's be respectful. Um, your cattle sure are a handful, huh? Yeah, but I love them. I just can't help it. Uh, okay, so the thing is... I hear ya. Avery's got some crazy scheme to get the gang back together at the amphitheater. I don't buy it, but I owe ya. So I'll be up there as soon as I can control this lot. Phew, yes, awesome, see you there. Everyone should be back at the amphitheater. Time to go see Avery's big plan. Also, I got a cowboy hat. I saw that. And I'm just using a cardboard sphere. <laughs> You're the one I broke the pots for. Yeah, that's making me think the the beetle might be here. Maybe? Maybe that's a hint? Because that one kid keeps talking about the buck. Treasure! I haven't seen it though. Oh right, they mentioned the... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Like rotting wood, broken tree. So it's probably not up here. Unless there's a fallen tree somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Whatever, I'm trying to get back to the, uh... Get back to Avery in the... Restaurant. I still don't have the best memory of this map. It's kind of hard to remember where everything is. I do keep stumbling upon new places I haven't seen yet, though. What I could do is kind of draw a map of like, okay, compared to this thing that you can always see. Which way do I go? Found it. <laughs> I don't care what works in your cannon. There's no such thing as SPF 50,000. It makes perfect sense. Even if Science Boy decides it works, it sure as heck won't fly on a farm. You should worry about what does fly on a farm. They're a prime abduction target. You're threatening to abduct my kin? Uh, not me, the aliens. Both haven't changed a bit. 
I'm Avery. Now might be a good time to tell everyone your idea. Really? You think so? Alright. Alright everyone, here's my biggest idea yet. What if we took all the slimes and put hats on them? Avery, the other idea. <laughs> huh? The one that's supposed to make everyone work together? Oh right, that idea. The idea that will make spacefarers, cowfolks, and vampires all come together as one. Oh. This ought to be good. I think we should all get together and open a restaurant. A space restaurant? No, Andromeda, not a space restaurant. Avery, I'm confused. What does a restaurant have to do with vampires? Or frontier living? With a vast expanse just past this meager sky. The answer to all of these questions is very simple. I forgot. What? Avery! Sorry everyone, I couldn't stop thinking about slimes and hats. Can you imagine one of the violet ones in a witch's cap? Or a blue one in the littlest top hat? It's so cute. Uh, maybe if I could just get another minute to think. I don't want to start a business with people who don't appreciate me. At least we can agree on that. Thanks for trying, Avery, but I ought to go get those rascals the treats I promised. Is this meeting adjourned? I have a field of asteroids that needs navigating. Hmm, there's an idea. Maybe I'll find a nice sunny asteroid field too. You can't, and you know it. Wait, um, don't go. I'm sure I'll remember. Maybe next time, Avery. Come on, Rents, let's ride. No, 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 I can't let them leave again. Um, um... Hey, what about food? Uh, what about it? Restaurants need food. Farmers have food, right, Velma? That we do. And we need waiters to carry the food around. Tiny, energetic waiters. Okay, I see where you're headed. And it's in space, right? Well, no, it's probably not in space. But we have to cook the food on something. Maybe some advanced technology. Of course, warp technology on an Earth-bound planet will be unmatched in popularity. And half of a restaurant is ambience. We'll need an interior decorator and a charismatic hostess. Definitely, and after everything, I think all of that stuff fits into a fantasy world after all. What do you say, Velma? Shall we combine forces to show some mystical patrons truly out-of-this-world cuisine? Don't forget a truly villainous atmosphere. Well, I do have to get these kids their ice cream. I can handle two more goofballs when I get back. I'm in. Hooray, I'll start making the menu. I'll start folding napkins. I'll draft some blueprints. Great, let's split up and get started. Yeah, restaurant. I knew we'd all get along eventually. Thanks for bringing everyone together, little hero. Uh, sure, I'm glad you asked me to. Everyone's ideas turned out to be a lot of fun. Didn't I tell you they were creative? So about the playground. We'll definitely be there. I have so many great ideas I can hardly stand it. I hope you're ready for all the drama all the drama you can handle. I hope so too. Quest complete! That was a big quest. <laughs> the, like, future -y oven. It's just like a normal oven, but it's got like a bunch of LEDs. Gamer oven. RGB lit, lit oven. I always say the perfect dining experience is marked by a healthy amount of fear. Will you enjoy your meal, or will you become the meal? Kk. Tip well and you'll never have to find out. Garlic steak, hold the garlic, hold the steak. <laughs> so I ordered the broccoli, but they didn't have any broccoli. You guys have broccoli, right? It's okay if you don't, I just need to know because otherwise it's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of another story from this time at the theme park. Oh!
I'm a little drunk. Don't mind me. Okay, let's go do the other quests. <laughs> I can bounce on these. Well, I think I'm gonna head back to the... this place first. Hi, birds. Whoa, <laughs> that bounce. Yo, nice organ. Uh, my thrall returns to the comfort of darkness. Are you ready to bring this world to ashes? Um, not yet, we're still doing the whole town thing. As you wish, I will curb my hunger for another century or so. Captain's log. <laughs> this is your ship. Posing as a theater performer, writing a cutting-edge space opera has allowed me to infiltrate the playground village. So protect these people from the threat of alien invasion from the inside without ever causing undue alarm. I think there's like a... a board something? Like a quest board or something here? I saw it in the cutscene. Alright, soldiers. You're this town's first line of defense. It's time to whip you into shape. You're amazing. You're fearsome. You're the best soldiers I've ever seen. Try your hardest and I'll be proud no matter what. It's the game. Now that the big tree is safe, I'm fully committed to guarding the playground town. My life for the playground. My soul for the playground. My, um, my hat for the playground. Oh, I had no idea they were that committed. Here. Hero, oh hero, thank the stars you have finally reached your journey's end. Let us dance and be merry. Uh, Avery, no, we still have to impress Big Sis. Oh yeah. Hero, oh hero, there's so much left to do. We're going to need everyone's help to impress your sis. Luckily, I have the perfect idea that will give everyone a chance to shine. Ta-da! What about this? Oh, and this! And that should go there! How does everyone feel about this design? I can't... what is this? <laughs> okay, there's like... A, a stage, right? There's a stage and... benches. There's like a bar, maybe? And then Avery just kind of doodled everyone on the edges. Do it. Juice bar. Well, I'm out of ideas. Oh, um, do you think it'll be good enough? Everyone sure looks like they're having fun. I think we did a okay. Oh yeah, you're right. We gotta show sis we're having fun. I declare this building done. Hooray! Juice bar, no milk. It's not the milk bar, like in Zelda. <laughs> Welcome to the playground saloon, little hero. What's your poison? You guys are doing a saloon. Isn't that sort of just another type of restaurant? Yeah, Avery's on a real restaurant kick lately. I think they watch too many baking shows. Everyone is happy and it keeps my siblings busy, so I'm not complaining. I'm gonna get drunk off juice. <laughs> Me when I have too much appy juice.
Okay. I'm assuming the bug is going to be near where the quest started. I should go back down there. The big tree. Where's the big tree? That's the small island. So not here. But I think it's near the bottom somewhere. This game is very chill. These are some of my favorite kinds of games to stream, just like really relaxing stuff like this. And like other games like Toem, Short Hike. I don't know, these are just so good to just play and relax. Definitely glad there's more games coming out like these. Even better when the game has like a bunch of stuff to do and it's just like fun to explore. Like this one. Wait! Did I hear the bug? Heard a noise. What's that? Broken scooter. It's one of those wheelie boards like they have in school gymnasiums. It's all busted up. Somebody drop this? Maybe I can fix it. Scooter board. Oh, it's one of like these kinds of scooters, okay. I mean, yeah, I love Chicory. I don't know if I would call it the same kind of game. It does have some of these vibes, but it was more of a, like a story adventure, I would say. Whoops! Don't fall on. With some like puzzle elements and stuff. I'm still really bad at navigating this island though, I'll be honest. Are these, like, respawning? I'm starting to think these might be respawning. Maybe not. I'm just surprised at how much I haven't found yet. No, I definitely haven't been here. There's a shark. Look at this guy. I like this guy. Shark. Traveler, I seem to have misplaced an important item. It's sort of spiky and transparent and weird looking. I just taken a breather, or as you would say, a swim, when I noticed its absence. Please find it for me. It's very important. Spiky. Not sure what you mean. So 
an umbrella down there. Like, I'm surprised I keep finding new places like this, because I feel like I've been everywhere. Spiky and transparent. I don't know what you mean. What's that umbrella I saw? Umbrella! Whoa! <laughs> Good launch. Hey, you think you're a hotshot, don't you? Well, hey, you're not. Hooey, what do you know? Oh yeah? Climb up this cliff and destroy the monsters on it. There's no way though, that's impossible. Easy. Don't ha ha me. Oh wow, amazing. You destroyed them all, I can't believe it. I love how they all have this running in place animation. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like old sprite games where they wanted the, the characters to like look animated. So even when they're standing in place, they would just do like the, the running animation and they just do like this. You climbed up the whole thing. I was so scared, it's so high. And the way you smashed them up. Wow, just wow. Um, ahem. Well, hot shot. I'm impressed. You've impressed me. Really? Here's your prize for being a hot shot. Hot shot. I want to bounce. Oh, I found the thing. It's right there. Wait, is this fake teeth? Are these fake teeth? Spike's teeth? <laughs> It's some sort of weird spiky thing. Maybe someone lost this. I just noticed whenever you talk, like the little gator's mouth moves. Like even when they're they're just like talking to themselves. There's a whole area here I never found. Like, what the heck? There's so much places. Let's go back to the shark first. Found this weird spiky thing. Is this it? That's it, my retainer. My dad is always telling me not to lose it, but I lost it and... Ahem. Uh, thank you, Traveler. The magic in this item will help sustain my life force? Yeah, that works. Great, you really saved my scales. Thanks. What else is here? Oh, it's you. The duck. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Every day of the week, my dude. Squark! I'm right back at ya. You know this kid, Martin? Yeah, don't worry, Lucas. We're tight. So tight. That's why we need you at the playground, Martin. The game is back on. Can't. Me and the crew are busy looking cool. <laughs> busy, but you're just standing there. Standing here doing nothing is why kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. What? Come on, that doesn't actually work. You sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Boom. It's a full-time job. Gotta respect the hustle. But the splash pad isn't even turned on this time of year. Uh, yeah, that's how we like it. 
Playing in the water is for little kids, right guys? Oh uh, yeah, getting wet and everything. So cringe. Squat walk. That's what I'm saying. But no, it's fun. Don't you guys like fun? Uh, easier to keep it cool without jets of water everywhere, ironically. So you're too cool to have fun, and the water being on would make you lose your cool? Interesting, very interesting. Okay, I'm off to do nothing, haha, <laughs> bye! Hey Martin, your friend is kind of weird. Yep, that's my weirdo. <laughs> this must be the water main. I'll just turn it a little bit, and we'll be having fun in no time. Okay, here we go. Just a little turning. Dang, this thing is rusty. Okay, just one big tug to get it open. I'm gonna break something. Whoa. Oh, that's so sick. I mean, gah, this is the worst. Squark! Eh. Oh, this water is cool, actually. Let's forget that other stuff and, like, have fun. Uh, who said that? Let's all listen to them. <laughs> Wait, was that me? <laughs> Little hero, come on, dude. I'm coming over to turn that thing off. No, not until you admit you're having fun. Fine, if you won't let up, we'll cut you off at the source. Quick, guys, go turn off the other pumps. I'll keep an eye on Little Hero. You got it, Martin. Other pumps? There are three other tanks that pump water into this one. They all get cut off. What gives, Martin? You love water parks. We went to the ocean world together last summer. Yeah, I know. I'd love to leave the water on. What? Why didn't you say that when they were here? You know, because it's not cool, and these guys are. You just can't say stuff. I just say stuff all the time. I'll show them how cool having fun is. Alright, Hotshot, how about a deal? If you convince all the others to turn their pumps back on, I'll walk away and you can do whatever you want. Deal! I know they'll agree eventually. The fun speaks for itself. That's a lot of confidence considering you just drenched them all, but good luck. This is perfect. Together, Martin's pals are invincible, but alone I'm sure I can find a way to break their cool. This is a great plan. Quest start! So yeah, this is the third quest. I've just, I haven't found it all this time somehow. I just never came over here. Even though it's right next to the the place. Is this safe? I think you're not supposed to like walk on wires or something. So you can get electrocuted. Trash can! the pump at all. Should I try and sneak over and turn it on? Stealth. Wait, where is it? I thought it was this thing. It is. You know you shouldn't do that. Who? What? Me? Nothing? I'm not doing anything. I was just coming over to say hi, haha. <laughs> My stealth plan didn't work. She got there. A tree spread it underwater. Made it all the way to the surface. That's a tree. Yep, a magnolia, I think. She's drooping now. If I stop propping her up, she'll drown. Oh no, do you uh, need any help? Use a twig and some grass clippings. I'm sure, I'll grab you some. Okay, I'll save this little tree, then turn on the pump. Easy peasy. Don't I already have a twig? Oh, that works. 
Here you go, what are they for? Watch. Awesome, now we'll be okay, right? Maybe. What? No maybe. Why only maybe? This pedal's stagnant. Water's shallow and stationary, so it gets dirty. So I'll go get some fresh water. Oh, okay. I'll stay here and make sure no one tramples her. Here, take this. Anywhere deep enough to swim should be fine. Here. Isn't this seawater though? <laughs> Got some fresh water. Great, pour it on and be nice and gentle. Wow, it looks so much healthier. Oh, we're near a lake. Just need a little support. Almost good to leave on her own. What do we do next? Dunno. Now what do you mean? Is it going to be okay? What does it need? Sunlight. Magnolias need a lot of it. This one's spread it in the shade. The roots are tangled in the rocks. Won't survive if we move her. Not much we can do. But there has to be something. I just noticed the bucket's on my head now. Hope so. Let me know if you figure it out. <laughs> I just put this on my head immediately. It's the trash sign. Dumb sign is blocking out the sun. I have to break it. It's an emergency. All right, everyone. I know the best way to break this. I like stood up after somehow. <laughs> I even think to break the sign. That was metal. You're pretty cool, little hero. Wanton destruction hasn't failed me yet. I'm sure Magnolia appreciates it. In fact, I bet she'd like you to have this. Oh, a whole leaf. Is she sure? Sure, pruning is normal for a strong plant like her. You know how I said Magnolias need sunlight? They usually need well-drained soil too, not too soggy. This one landed here. Under three inches of water beside a shady cliff, surrounded by rocks and weeds. And she spread it anyway. Whoa, hardcore. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Hey, little hero. You know how plants need water to grow? Uh, duh. Thinking maybe our little gang does too. See ya. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, the pump. I totally forgot. Let's get this thing turned on. Long distance pump activation. <laughs> I say hi and bye to the tree every time, oh my god. Nope. It's cool how important Martin is to you. Good luck convincing the others. I gotta find them first. You're not in the gang, are you? You're just, you're just here. I, a gator, am very unfamiliar with water. Water is shallow if it's light colored, or if there's stuff sticking out of it. another pipe. Just follow the pipes. Oh! Memory. The pipe seemed a lot taller back then. Little me is so cute. 
Oh, what is this place? Trash bin! These dang hooligans. Hi, Mr. Doddler. Hey, kid. Care to give an old geezer a hand? Some ruffians rolled through and left a heap of litter all over my roof. Hey, that's not trash. Those are cool monsters for the game we're playing. So it was your little friends that put them up there, eh? Gulp. Doesn't matter to me who did it. I just need you to scurry up there and get rid of it all. Very well, O oh, ancient sage. I shall clear your roof of these evil monsters. We must scurry. My specialty. I got that stuff off your roof. You sure did. Yep, no more cardboard to worry about. Uh-huh. Smiley face. I suppose you're waiting for a reward. Yeah, do you have any confetti to throw? Uh, confetti? You bean starts always want a whole parade for a little hard work. Fine, fine. Let me see what I got on me. Here, have a piece of candy. Mega Bubble Bubblegum. This brand tastes kind of funny, but it blows the best bubbles. Run along now, and don't let me find that wrapper on the ground later. Hold on, let me relax real quick. Let me, let me do a bit of relaxing. That one was pretty good. Oh, water's real nice, eh? Crisp fall day like this. Makes you just want to jump right in. Pity. Can't swim. Oh no, I can swim really good. I could teach you. It's really easy, see? First you submerge so just your snout is above water, and then... Okay, 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 no. It's... it's more like I won't swim. It's my fur all floofed up. You ever heard of a floofy bull? Um, well actually... Nah. No, really, I've... No such thing. Just search on your phone. Just doesn't work. Luffy bulls, non-existent. Oh well, guess I'll never impress that sheep over there. They've been giving me weird looks all day. We'll never be friends at this rate. You could just talk to them? Absolutely not. I have to impress them first. With a huge cannonball. Then I'll get all floofed. And then they... Okay, fine. Hold on. Floof. Trash can! Well, try not to set anything on fire. No promises. I must defeat evil at any cost. What's the deal with that bull just standing there? You gonna jump in or what? Oh, he's a little, uh, he doesn't want to get all floofy. He thinks floofy bulls don't exist. What? Floofy bulls are definitely a thing. Yeah, I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen at all. Floofy bulls are great. He's crazy. In my book, the floofier the better. But I am unfloof. How did I, I just like sat down? How did I do that? I want to see what bubble gum does. Bubble gum is great. on this, it's so fun. I wonder if I can like build momentum 
like lunch. Not really. <clears throat> Can't swim. I get floofy. Look, dude, for one, floofy bulls are a thing. Nope. For two, that sheep. They're totally into floofy bulls. What? Really? Yep. <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> now I'm floofy as can be. No one can take their eyes off me. Love the water. Look at the floof on this lad. Finally, my ideal person. <laughs> A perfect sphere. I must befriend him. <laughs> The dialogue in this game is so good. Maybe someone else will appreciate my art. Oh right, I did your quest. I just like ran off a different way and never went this way. Oh, there's the actual pipe I was going for. There you are. Hello, Lucas. Hi. Don't mind me. Just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. Casual stroll to a remote island? Oh, you're right, this is really out of the way. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Anyway, wouldn't it be great if you let me turn that pump back on? Nope, I'm not into it. My friends aren't into it. It's not happening. They are, though. Everyone's totally into it. Because, um... Dang, are they? Martin said he'd love it. But the others didn't say one way or the other. Did, did Martin really say that? <laughs> the eyes. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, I can never tell what he's thinking. Is he joking when he said to turn the pumps off? Is he gonna think I'm a jerk for actually doing it? Whoa, whoa, slow down for a second. What's going on? I just can't stop acting weird around Martin. When I try to talk, I can feel all the words jumbling around in my head. It's like how people act in movies and stuff. But those are just movies, right? No one actually acts like that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I've never felt like that either. Talking to Martin is easy. He always says what he's thinking. Yeah, I know, he's so confident. How do you keep your cool so easily? You think maybe, could you give me some advice? What kind of stuff do you say to him? Advice, you say? Hmm, interesting. Perhaps I could be persuaded to offer the advice you seek. <laughs> yeah, 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 if you help me out, the pump is all yours. Uh, excellent. Wait right here, I have the perfect plan. <laughs> this feels awkward. I was gonna say invasive. It's fine, a movie problem needs a movie solution. You be Martin and I'll be you and say all the things you're supposed to say. Okay, uh, oh, it sure isn't nice to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on the island, minding my own business. Let's see, what's a good opener? <laughs> your mane is radiant. Gosh, Martin, your mane is shining in the sun. It's so radiant. What? It doesn't have to be something so personal. Everybody likes a compliment. Now you say something nice back. Er, uh... Thanks, dude. You also look cool, too, as well. Thanks, bro. I've been using soap. <laughs> and speaking of that... <laughs> I'm a down-to-earth country boy. Do plants make the sun mad? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think the sun gets upset that plants eat sunlight? I'd be mad if something ate me. 
Are you asking me or Martin? Martin, we have debates like this all the time. Oh well, I guess they don't actually eat the sun itself, just the light. Like those harmless little bugs that eat dander. Oh wow, so you're saying we're like basking in the sun's dead skin right now? Oh my god, can we please talk about something else? Alright, if you want to skip ahead, I'd say something like... <laughs> Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Martin, there's nothing that I want to do with you more in the entire world right now than to watch Power Fighters on DVD. I'm beginning to think you aren't taking this seriously. <laughs> Coming up with stuff to say is hard. Work with me here. Hey guys, working on something? Gah! Martin! How, what are you doing here? Oh, well, you know. Just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll <laughs> to a remote island. <laughs> Why is this? Is, oh my god. This is the best part of the whole game. Um, yeah, well, uh... Hey, cool drawing, Lucas. Is that supposed to be me? Uh, you think so? Yeah, it's a portrait. For you. Too cool. You really captured my essence. Thanks, man. Psst, go, go, go! Say the thing! Erm... Um, something you wanted to say? There was, but um, I totally forgot. You know how it is. Funny you should say that. I was thinking we could hang later. Just the two of us? Maybe that'll help you remember. Why wait? I'm game right now. Cool, let's roll. Cool. Later, little hero. Wait, did they resolve their problem without me? That can't be right. No, no, they resolved it because I inserted myself and pestered them about it. Yes, that sounds right. Good job, me. Quest complete! Now to get this pump started. Quest complete! Gay! Obtained. Yeah, they gay. Keep scrolling. No water adventure. Cool moves, my friend. Skate pug. Hey, good buddy. I love your style. You've got a great balance about you. You a sidewalk surfer? A what? I'm asking if you skate. Oh, kinda. I'm getting pretty good at sliding around on my shields. Far out, far out. I was just setting up my own little park to shred. If you want to stick around. There's this burly tech I've been trying to nail, but it's given me so much grief. Basically, it boils down to me knocking out five skeletons as stylishly as possible. Um, what does knocking out skeletons mean? Uh, that's not slang. I borrowed some targets to help me practice. There's some kids running around making a bunch of wicked monster drawings. These are for a game my friends and I are playing at the playground. You should come. Oh, intriguing. I can see myself chillaxing at the playground. But not until I nail this trick. Maybe you want to show me how it's done? I could try. Aha, my skater. The starting point is at the top of this... grade. Knock out five skeletons without biffing it, and I'll consider it... I'll consider a change of scenery. I need to not biff it. Zero biffing will be happening at the present moment. This is the opposite of biffing. the start here. I have to knock out the skeletons. Not, I don't think the stars even matter. No! Let me up.
No, that's not the gun. I usually have the gun on that button. Is there more? Sculpted. Is there more? Where's the last one? I don't know. I think it's kind of like the other challenge. I don't think the stars matter. I think in the other challenge, I didn't have to hit the stars either. That's why I finished it without those last two. Wait. Where? Maybe I do have to hit the stars? He said five skeletons. Did I find five that time? I'm gonna count. Maybe I do need stars. Oh, there's one down here. Did I not get this one? That was two. Three, four, five. I guess I do need to get the stars. Nope, there's another one. I miscounted. There we go. That was mad steezy, my friend. I picked you as another green grommet, but you're a full-blown, full-blown thrasher. I have no, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> no worries, my friend. Basically, great job. I'll see you at the playground. I mean, you probably shouldn't be saying <laughs> one of those words. It has a different meaning. Ah! Oh, skateboard, yes. Hit the thing! Okay, we need to find the last pipe. Look how cool I am skateboarding. We're so cool. come from here somewhere. They're hanging out. Hey guys, what you doing? Just hanging out? Just two guys? Hanging out together? <laughs> Personally, I prefer prehistoric power fighters to any of the later versions. I uh, never caught those episodes. You gotta come over sometime and show me. For sure. I have the whole box set on DVD. Sweet. See, I was right! I was right about the Power Fighters thing. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome, bros. Couple of bros. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna go now. Where's the last pipe? I think it's this way. It's 
follow it. I haven't seen any other pipes. I feel like I went the wrong way. But it was leading me this way. The hell? Dude, unironically, this might be like game of the year for me. <laughs> it's so good. I'm obsessed with this game. Madeline. Oh, I'm like glitching right now. Well, hey there, traveler. You lost or something? It's nothing to be ashamed of. The island is pretty big for a little thing like you. Want to be friends? Uh, sure. Another friendly face on the island is always welcome. Wish making friends was always this easy. I know the feeling. See you around, new friend. Oh, you just joined... She called me little thing. <laughs> she was like a foot tall. <laughs> this is the quietest spot on the island. Oh, it's like in the music. Gets all quiet when you go here. Treasure up there. Oh, this isn't the direction of the last one. That's just the one that I can press myself. What? Well, that's right. This memory happened before the windmill was built, so it's clipping into it. <laughs> That's a shame. This is probably my favorite memory on the whole island. If only I could see the amazing visual wonders I so vividly recall, just beyond the sheet metal. Oh well. Oh my god, this game is so funny. And now I'm falling off a cliff. Let me get the frickin' bubble back. Wait a sec, you can chain jumps out of this? You can get pretty high up using that. Let's climb the windmill. No! No! It does use a lot of stamina though. But it probably gets me more height than just doing this. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's probably about the same, honestly. Wait! The monkey's up there! That was worse than the last jump. I'm mistiming it. <laughs> I made it. 
Whoosh, did you hear it? There's a whisper on the wind. It shouts, bracelets, or you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my bracelets? Oops. I do want a bracelets. Woohoo, wonderful. Another beauty joins your collection. Forsooth, as the gentle breeze departs, so too must I. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Okay, I'm struggling right now. I can't find the final pipe. That one is water already. Same with that one. This one! Wait! I'm blind. It was here the whole time. I thought I already had this one for some reason. There it is. It's the duck. Hi. Hi you. Don't I don't think anyone mentioned your name before. What is it? Squonk! Are you still doing the whole honking thing? Could you maybe just talk to me, please? I heard you saying full sentences just a minute ago. This is squ- uh. Yes, you did. You said entire normal words. Yes, you did. Honk again if I can turn the pump back on. Squ- <laughs> Gotcha. No, if you'll excuse me. Squawk. Okay, knock it off. Everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way from the splash pad. I just want to talk, but your friend wants some honking at me. I'm pretty sure they only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Squawk. Well, that's no reason to push somebody. Alright, little hero. Let's all try to calm down. What are you going to do? Sue them? You know what? Yeah, I am. What? <laughs> what? Court is now in session. Dude, I was kidding. You, whatever your name is. You stand accused of obstruction of fun and being very rude. How do you plead? Squark. Very well. Then I call Martin to the stand. Uh, here? I'm going to ask you some simple questions and then decide if you're telling the truth. Wait, sorry, the lawyer or the judge? I'll ask the questions here, thank you. Martin, is it true that your unnamed friend has never spoken a word? That's the truth. As long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool honks. Doubt. I don't believe you. I'm sure I heard the goose... that goose gab. Sorry, little hero, that's not gonna fly. If you want to make this into a case, you gotta present hard evidence to prove me wrong. Thank you, Dean, for the 20... 27? That's a lot of months. Dang, he's right. I have to call him out with everything I've got. Like I said, as long as I've known Duke, they've never said anything except cool hunks. Interesting statement, Martin. I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how did you know their name? Uh, well, uh, Lucas and Jada told me, obviously. They've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, how did they know? Yeah, well, you see, it must have been like, what uh, really happened was, um, enough! The jig is up, Martin. You can quit covering for me. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket. Hi, I knew it. Straight from the goose's mouth. It's for the best, now that my secret is revealed. I can legal battle little hero head on. Yeah, I may be talking, but you can't make me sing. This case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Duke. That is your real name. I hope it is, because this will be a lot more confusing if it isn't. So, uh, is it cool if I go now? Oh, sure, you can go. Yeah, thanks for checking on us. Cool. Later. Good luck with this. <laughs> He's just walking out of the scene. 
All right, Defendant Duke. Let's get right to the question on everyone's mind. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get at the pump. I didn't want you to, duh. You could have told me that. Yeah, well, it ain't always that easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you? Heh. I have reason to believe otherwise. Is that so? Fine. Then I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. doop dee doop dee doop Why? They must care. Otherwise, why did they push me? Since they lied about lying, the two lies combine into an even stronger double lie. And that means that, uh, the double lie cancels the first lie. And, um... Hey, could you say that last part again? I got confused. I'll say it as many times as I have to. Even though all my friends... Okay. That is the truth. You're admitting, you're admitting they all want it. You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? What? No. That's being sarcastic. Don't you know how to reverse a psychology? Not even a little. My extra detective skills tell me that there's another reason you pushed me. So if you don't care about the water, why did you push me? I do care. I... Squark, it's no use. Ain't getting nothing past you, little hero. Pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the game. Can't go spilling milk just to get my beak wet. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Can't believe it, but that doesn't mean it's a lie. It's... Something about this is super personal to do. I need to be careful what I say so I don't hurt their feelings even more. I know Martin pretty well. Are you sure he'd let that happen? Maybe not to you, but I'm another story. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Doubt? Sorry, Duke, there's something about your story that just doesn't add up. The cool kids would stop being your friend because you talk about your feelings. Then they wouldn't be very cool at all! Are you crazy? Lucas, Jada, and Martin are cooler than anyone on the island. That's true, then they never do something so uncool. You can talk to them. No, little hero, you're wrong. It just wouldn't work out. I know, because I've already lost another group of friends that way. Oh, what happened? One day, everything was daisies. The next, my pal, my best pal, told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. Maybe I was annoying? Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyway, I left him alone. I figured if I didn't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed up everything last time. Wow, dude. That guy sounds like a huge jerk. You don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends miss you a lot. I heard to hear, but what if everyone really is just pretending? I don't know. If your new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in a court of law? <laughs> Guess Norton did do a federal crime for me, huh? He risked a life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. Therefore, my final verdict is that your friends like you, and you should talk to them. Also, I sentenced that big liar to the shadow dimension forever! Squaha, I'll, I'll try. Thanks, little hero. Sorry for getting so riled up at you before. That was really lame. It's okay, I'm happy we talked about it. But if you're wondering how you can make it up to me, there's this water pump I'd like to switch on. Listen, I'm just gonna walk back to the splash pad and whatever happens, happens. Hope I see you there again. Phew, that was exhausting. I wasn't expecting the duck to have a deep character arc. <laughs> the duck who just yells squawk constantly. But now I can finally sentence this pump to be open. Court adjourned. Okay, that's all the pumps done. I'm gonna head back to the splash pad. Detective hat! As a detective, this hat is very important to me.
They're all looking cool again. And things seem kind of tense over here. Better go turn the main pump back on, quick. Finally, I've defeated everyone's cool. Now they'll have fun for sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's got stuck again. Is it coming? So I guess you guys all wanted the water on after all? It's whatever. We were being kind of dry. It wouldn't hurt to get wet. Same, I'm down for a splash sometimes. But it's cool hanging with you guys wherever. I can vibe with that. I just didn't want you guys to think I was lame. No chance, dude. Feels good to talk it out. Anything you want to add, Duke? Oh yeah, hit us with a feel-good honk, Duke of Pool. Actually, I got an idea that I think you fellas might like. Oh, the Duke speaks. It's an honor. What's the plan? I figure since this is our turf and kids are out here making towns, why don't we make this place a town of our own? Oh yeah, we could all be the mayors of Coolsville. See some great spots for a few houses, maybe a lounge. All the kids who want to hang with us will finally have an excuse to stick around. Great idea, dude. How you think? Ah, oh, squirk. You guys are too good to me. Just one more thing any good town needs. But we'll see it any second now. Wah! There it is, the main attraction. <laughs> we just straight up got another town. Oh, this isn't how I imagined everyone playing in the water. Surprised you were able to convince anyone to turn it on at all. But you did, and talking to everyone was nice. Not to mention, Coolsville is looking dope. Yeah, so, uh, ready to bring some Coolsville back to the playground town? You know what, dude. Keep the place warm for us. Yeah. Coolsville. Think you're tough, huh? Well, there's a new tough guy in town, so you better... Yeah, um, how long were we standing there? <laughs> you're talking to this thing. Jada, Mayor of Coolsville is a title I could get used to. Not worth the paperwork, though. Hey, sorry for being a jerk about the water thing before. This whole Coolsville thing is a lot of fun. We have to do... We have to leave our comfort zone to do it. So yeah, thanks. It couldn't be better here in downtown Coolsville. Next meeting, we're voting whether to convert the fountain into root beer or fruit punch. Sounds like a good meeting. Okay, I need to go find the bug. <laughs> Still haven't found the bug. Where's the tree? That's ready to go. <laughs> the fluffy bowl. I can't believe I didn't want to be floofy before. This is awesome. I mean, other than how hard it is to sit down, and I wish I could scratch my nose and it's hot in here. But such is the price of beauty. I've never been friends with someone that reminds me so much of an overstuffed pillow. I'll treasure this day for the rest of my life. Martin, what does the cool crew think of the place? Good, seems like everybody's found something they can vibe with. The mayors of Coolsville formally recognized the playground village as a sick place to be. Are you ready to make it even sicker? Yeah, I got an idea or two. Take a look. I don't know, I'm feeling something like this. Need a few extra hands. Want to give it the green light? Uh, just a few, like, string... what are these things called? Banners? And like a basket of something. Hmm. 
What do you think? You know what? I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, this is definitely a place I would engage in some wicked commerce. You can mark it off as finished. Fish. Okay, one more left, I think. It's just bug. Find another cool plant? All plants are cool. Right now these cliff vines and I are hanging. They're definitely hanging, but it looks like you're standing. <laughs> good one. Only good ones from the skater. You climbed so high. That's the big tree, right? Why does it reduce the population count when you build something? I think everyone's too lazy to build more than one thing. Because we're all kids. The shark has a little pool. It's nice to take a breather somewhere besides the river once in a while. You've been playing a lot. Make sure you take rests too. You're not the... Nintendo... You've been playing too long, police? Get out of here. I'll play as long as I want. Here's the tree. Check out this sick skateboard trick. Okay, it was uh, not the sickest, but it's all right. All right, you. You want me to catch, get the bird out of the tree, which is that tree, which I can now do with ease, because I have so many bracelets. Got it. No strap things for this up. Thank you, thank you. You got the perfect photo. Okay, okay, I can do this. I'm gonna show this to the Paragons. Here's something for you. Confetti! Taking nature photos sounds like fun. Wish my phone camera wasn't so old and low res. Hmm, I wonder. Wait! Camera! Oh my god, there's been a camera this whole time. Ah! <laughs> I filled the water. I could have done this earlier. Well, I kind of had to get enough stamina to do it. Hey everyone, welcome to my live stream. Today, we're going to be uh, going through the woods. It's a very cool hiking spot. Everyone, uh, subscribe to the channel. Little Gator Gaming. And, uh, yeah, stay, uh... Gator's gonna gate. That's my catchphrase. Alright, bye everyone. Sonic stole this joke. It was my joke first. My joke. I never found out why this dude is sad. Why are you sad? Can I make you not sad? Kids across the lake might be. I want to make the tiger not sad. How do I make them not sad? What do you want? Whoa, I was just going to ask you if you wanted to play. Sorry, sorry. I'm mad at someone else. We were supposed to do this together, but... Never mind. Do you want to join our ninja village? 
It's gonna ask you to join my village. An alliance between villages, then. I'll accept it, but only if you prove yourself capable and loyal to our cause. Stepping on that sigil will summon five members of the Shadow Clan, our mortal enemies. Find and defeat all of them as fast as you can, and I'll judge if you are a worthy ally. Where's the Shadow Clan? Darn it. There's one. So uh, how far out are we leaving? The bug! I found the bug! But hold on. More important stuff's going on. Where are the other members? I think I've strayed too far. I could not find them. I <laughs> Get these bushes out of here. It's blocking my view. Hey, um, you have a lot of paper. Yeah, I'm collecting it for a game we're playing. Can I have some? How much do you want? A few sheets, I guess. I don't know how many that is. How much would you need in, let's say, very small torn up pieces? I don't know, how about 500? What did you want that for? Shuriken! Yo! Hope you like them, thanks again. Thank you too. It's pretty sick. Oh, there's one up there. I can use these to help me finish this. problem is I still only know where like three of them are. Okay, four. Where's the last one? It's gotta be nearby. There it is! Well done. You've proven your loyalty and aptitude. I never knew I hit them. Please accept this gift in honor of our new alliance. And one more thing. Oh. Screw you, chair. Now that I know I can trust you, I have a favor to ask. You should do anything for the strength of the Alliance. You need to put a hit on someone. <laughs> what? A hit? If you want me to get rid of them? What? No. Is that what that means? <laughs> no, I just want you to hit him. Like on the leg, maybe. Oh, um, okay. I know I usually hit monsters, but a monster is just what he is. Things he said are so unspeakable. He was banished from the clan. What did he say? I told you, it's unspeakable. But he's still skulking around on the other side of this lake. Take this and remind him that he's never welcome back here. You got the nunchucks. I guess I'm supposed to hit somebody with them. But they're sad. I don't want to hit the sad person with the nunchucks. Nunchucks! Violence. Are you the one that got banished from the ninja village? Yep, that's me. Okay, I think I'm supposed to hit you. Go ahead, this game isn't fun anymore. I might as well get it over with. Are you gonna hit me or what? Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to hit you. Can we just talk to the chief and let you come back? He never let me back after what I said. What did you say? I don't even want to talk about it. And he doesn't want to talk to me either. Maybe not, but I'm an ally of the ninja village. I'm sure he'll listen to me. Come on, let's give it a try. Okay, if you lead the way, I'll talk to him. 
Oh, my nunchucks went insane for a bit. We're back. We, you brought that traitor with you? You seem pretty upset about being banished. Can't you guys talk it out? Not listening to a thing he says. Unless he's going to say, Sorry, Romeo. I got heated and I said some things I didn't mean. Season 3 still isn't my favorite, but I shouldn't have said those unspeakable things about it. Huh? Well, okay. I know Season 3 isn't to everyone's taste. At least we can agree that Season 2 is superior to Season 1. Totally. The fights in that one were the best. You guys were just arguing about a TV show this whole time? Um, we're talking about Buckle My Black Belt, the greatest show of all time. You haven't seen it. It's the best. There's this part where the ninja clan faces a dragon. And the part where they split up in the ice maze. And when they go to the mall. Okay, I'm glad you can talk about it together again. Me too. You may not have done the job I expected, but I think you earned this anyway. I want to chip in too. Thanks for not actually hitting me before. Yeah, friendship. Okay, I saw the bug over here. Wait, what are you doing? You're the stone skipping guy. There's so many places I went, and then I just missed something like right next to it because I went off and wandered in opposite direction. Like I've been here already, but I never did the ninja stuff. There it is, that's a Hercules beetle. To move as little as possible so I don't scare it off. Just a barely tip tap in a direction. It's as soft as possible. <laughs> Oof, I tripped. My cover's blown. Quick before it gets away. Yeah, I, I trip often. Hold on, I need my bug net. I don't even have it equipped. went right to you. Okay. Hey, you got it. Woo. Sure did. Thanks for the assist, little hero. I guess if stealth fails, sprinting and flailing can be okay, too. What do you mean? I'm the stealthiest. Sprinting and flailing is all I do. Hey, is your shirt a cape now? Oh yeah, it's my costume. I'd like to join your game if that's still okay. It's just... I'm more than my hobby. I like beetles, but I don't want to be the weird beetle guy. I thought I could be a hunter or something. You can totally be a hunter. Even a monster hunter if you want. Sure. And if there are too many people around, I can go hunt into the wilderness for a little while. Yeah, hunt some wilderness monsters. Or some ground beetles by the creek. Yeah, wait. I might have to borrow Suzanne's shovel. Wait, but... You wouldn't want to scare some bugs out of the mud for me, would you? Okay, happy hunting, bye! Dang it, that's all of Jill's friends. I did so much boring work. And it backfired. Every single one of them just got even more into their project. I to tell Jill the bad news. Hi, Jill. I'm just gonna, you know, clear the table. Just get that off there. Hey Jill, sorry, my quest was a complete failure. Quest? What quest? I was trying to get everyone to have some fun so you wouldn't have to work so hard. But it didn't work at all. Jean is like trying to inject economic theory into the playground. What? Yeah, and Anton and I found this awesome beetle, but he only wants more beetles. Wait, really? I thought Suzanne was going to do something fun. Instead, she just made some kind of authentic paleolithic tool or something. Wow. 
Yeah, sorry, I couldn't. I've got to see this. Ah, oh, she ran off. Weird. I should catch up with her. Hey, Jill. Are you alright? You ran off. Oh, sorry, Skills. It's just that everyone's project sounded so exciting. I couldn't wait to take a look. Exciting, really? You bet it was exciting. We've all had a great time playing your game, little hero. We have a lot to show for it. Absolutely we do. I wouldn't have learned half as much about trade if it weren't for them. It's been a big help. You mean you guys were having fun the whole time? I thought you only cared about school stuff. Of course our education is paramount, but a growing mind needs rest and recreation as much as study. Mental health awareness is one of the premier Paragon pillars. Oh cool, does that mean Jill won't have to work so hard? I suppose I got carried away worrying about keeping up. If all these star scholars can make time to play, then so can I. Ah, Jill, you flatter us. Great, so, um, see you all at the playground? Count on it. Quest complete! This might be the end of the game, chat. You know, keeping up with you all day, it's been a lot of fun. Maybe I could do a project about that. Like a case study! The psychology of a hero, what do you think? Is psychology the fortune-telling one? <laughs> no, it is not. But can I quote you on that? Dude, there's so much- I love the characters in this game. My character is great. My friends are great. Everyone's so cool. And fun. Where's the, uh, the tower? What did you miss? Uh, well we got all the quests done. So I'm just heading back to the playground. We finally found the buck. Oh, there you are, little hero. I'm so excited to get started. I even made a character for myself based on my favorite board game. She's a cleric in the court of the Corgi Countess. Provided that she, um, fits into your narrative. Sure, I guess. As long as it's not an evil Countess. Don't be silly. She's lawful neutral. Oh, okay. Got any other good ideas? I bet I do. Got a whole project mapped out already. Ah, I can't wait to show you. Here's a look at my plan. As soon as we have some volunteers, I'm ready to get started. This looks really cool. It's like a mansion, or it's like- no, it looks like the, the mayor's house, maybe. The clock tower. Let's do it. Oh, it's like a church. Oh, because you said cleric. That makes sense. Ah, oh, little hero. It's even better than I planned. Do you think Sis will be impressed? I can't speak for her, but I know I couldn't be happier. Everyone did a great job. I think we can call this project a success. That's the last building. Playground Town is officially finished. Because that means it's almost time to show Big Sis. But, uh, I should tell my friends first. Yeah, let's check in with Jill, Martin, and Avery. Hold on, I'm gonna put on the, the hero outfit. The bell! Feel a lot better. I didn't trip even once on the way here. Look, 
Okay, I tripped only once. It didn't even hurt. Why <laughs> are you just climbing this? Finally over my fear of heights, but I'm still not very good at climbing yet. Will I ever get good enough at climbing to truly enjoy it? Oh no, my fear of failure! Hello. Great news, I found a new special stick. It's huge, did you drag it up here by yourself? Sure did, I'm a lot stronger than I look. Just wait until I'm strong enough to swing it. Where are my friends? Oh, here you are. Well, what do you guys think? It's a good-looking town, if I do say so myself. Last chance to actually talk to your sister before trusting this all upon her. Oh, Martin, don't be like that. It's a beautiful little hero. I'm sure she's gonna love it. But yeah, great. I'm sure this will be enough. You're the one who knows your sis best. If there's anything else the town needs to be perfect, now's the time to do it. Because after this, there's no going back! What? Like, not at all. Nah, I'm just kidding. We've got all day. Oh, cool. What do you say? Are you ready to show the town off? I mean, is there anything else I can even do? Is there, like, more things I can add? Because I do have a lot more uh, people I haven't used to build things yet. But I didn't really see any boards I could interact with. Let me just look around real quick. Talk to Tom. Tom doesn't have anything for me. I don't know. It seems like there probably is more I can do, but I don't see anything. Maybe just to bring more people? Yeah, I guess that's maybe... I feel like I got... I, I might have missed a couple people, but we got a lot of people. We'll get this started. Sis, sis! Hey, kiddo. Come to check on my progress? No, even but Wait, why? Are you finally done? Um, no, sorry. It was just a guess. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. That's okay, because I'm having such an amazing time with everyone at the playground. We've got a blacksmith, and an astronaut, and even a whole castle with towers, and bridges, and everything. Wow, that all sounds great. It's the greatest. It's so cool that everyone dropped everything they were doing to play. Ah, I see. Come see for yourself, just for a minute. A half a minute. Don't even worry about all those books and stuff. You can just leave them right here for no reason, haha. <laughs> Kiddo, can I talk to you for a sec, grown-up style? Grown-up? <laughs> Sorry sis, it's playtime. You know the rule. Well yeah, it's about that little hero. I know what you're trying to do here. You do? It's not that I don't want to play, or that all those memories aren't happy, or that I'm avoiding you, or... Dang, I'm butchering this. Um, I just think that if you see it for yourself... I'm sure it's incredible, but I still have work to do, and playing with you is... well, it's... Uh, what I'm saying is this assignment needs to get done. I can't make today go how you imagined and still finish in time. What does that even mean? Because I'm not going, little hero. I'm staying here and doing my lame grown-up assignment. But believe me when I say it's not an easy choice, but I have to focus on what's important right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go now. Okay, I really hope you have a great time. She She's busy. She said no. Yep, I knew it. Now oh, come on, Martin. You're having a moment. I got everyone to play. We built a whole town. I thought that would be enough. Oh, scales, it'll be enough. We just have to double down, right? Maybe we can try some different colors? Maybe the timing was off. 
If it isn't enough now, it's not going to be. Martin. No, seriously, look at this playground. Look at all of this. It's amazing, spectacular. Everyone poured their whole day and every ounce of creativity they had into it. Adults scoff at stuff not even half this impressive. But we can still make it better. Maybe, but that's not the point. Well, Hero, if your sus isn't... I just say sus. <laughs> Sorry, there's been a lot of talking today. Well, Hero, if your sis isn't impressed with all this, then it's not about the game. It goes past that. You need to talk to her. I, I know. I know I do. I just don't have the words. It's okay, little Hero. Your friends are here to help. Why don't you try and talk about you and your sis's game and what it means to you? Um, okay. It's a bit complicated. Complicated doesn't have to be scary. Yeah, imagine we're your little helper fairies, helping you navigate the dark forest of your mind. Oh my god. This way, little hero. There's monsters to slay. Beat them, that's 10 points. I'm gonna cry. Quick, if you're fast enough, you'll trigger the ice cream bonus. Oh, you smashed a big one. That's worth three hearts. Visit the park every weekend to play our game together. We both looked forward to it all week. Do you remember why you stopped? Uh, come on, let's keep moving. Whoa! Zero gravity. <laughs> I can still ragdoll. <laughs> Wow, what elegant technique. That's exactly what I call this. We're gonna get the big guy like this. Bep. Yeah, keep going. Bonus round, time fi times five multiplier. That's me. I don't want to break this one. If you can hit that monster in the next... If you can hit that monster in the tree while we go by, that's an extra 200 points. And you can fight the boss, but only if you can read the map. Boss, boss, boss! Oh, did she make up all the systems herself? Yeah, that's why playing with Sis was the best. Every time we played, she had a new idea. Everything fit together just right. The hero always won. Or back to the all go. Be careful, little hero. My steed. Oh my god, this is the beginning of the game. The hero has to be clad in green. I am green. Great, you're already halfway there. This is it. The first time we started playing together. Oh, this is the part where Sis has you pick a hero name. The name you picked seems familiar. Alright, this is when I started going by a little hero. Wait, that's my <laughs> actual name. 
Choosing a name was part of the fun. I liked how it sounded so. I kept it. It's sweet that it came from something you and your sister shared so closely. Names have a way of sticking, no matter where they come from. Yeah, I guess I just never thought about it. Hang on, something about all of this is biting at me. Is everyone else seeing the pattern here? Seems like your sis is always making the game and never playing it. As the brother of two little sisters, let me tell you, it's not always fun having to be the big kid. You're right, she never got to be the hero. Being the game maker person is exhausting. Is she always this tired too? I don't think she would have made such a complex game if she wasn't excited about it. You can entertain kids that age with a game of tag. Well, Hero, what do you think the game means to her? Well, I think Jill is right. She must have liked making it. But it is a lot of work. So I guess asking her to play is actually a lot of pressure. Pressure that I've been putting on her all day. Okay, so we just tell your sister that it's her turn to be the hero. Oh yeah, problem solved. I just have to apologize and let her be the hero, and she'll want to play it for sure. Not so fast, little hero. Earlier I asked why you and Sis stopped playing the game. We never talked about it. Oh right, I guess now's the time. Those memories are over there, back the way we came. Path is less taken care of, I guess. I think a brave hero and their legendary sword can't handle. Oh. I'm just on my own now. This was the day Sis told me she wanted to go to computer school. She said it would help her achieve her big dream. We were both really excited. Looking back though, that was the start of her having less and less time to play with me. Schoolwork can do that. Sometimes we have to choose adult stuff. she didn't want to talk at all. Not about the game or TV or the weather or anything. And that was it. After that, she never wanted to play the game again. Didn't want to or didn't agree to. Alright, she didn't agree. Maybe she was feeling pressured. I'm sure she wanted to. She must have been really going through it to outright ghost you. Had days like that. seeing the, the sad little gator. When she went away to college, I stopped seeing her altogether. Even when she's home, she's working on something. I know she's busy and I want her to succeed. I don't want to pressure her. But I don't want to never play the game again either. 
Aren't we playing the game right now? Well, kind of, but... Rules and friends and towers and monsters. The heroes who save the land. Yes, it's just... Sounds like a great game to me. But I was only playing the game to get Sis to play the game. Because it's not a real game without her. Which definitely sounds silly when I say it out loud. Well, it kind of sounds like you've figured this whole thing out. Yeah, I know what I want to say to my sis now. Because it is a real game. We did a lot of work to make it real. And I want you all to know I appreciate that. Ah, Scales, you big softy, come here. Thanks, guys. It helped a lot to talk about it. Man, if only someone suggested that earlier. The hugs. I knock it off. You go, little hero. This time your sis is really, really gonna. Uh, don't worry, guys. Whatever happens this time, I'm ready for it. Hi again. Hey, kiddo. So, um, how's college? Oh, it's fine. The work is tough, but I'm happy to be there. Does it really have lockers and hall monitors and big gigantic classrooms like on TV? Most of that stuff stays in high school. There are lecture halls, though, and they're way too big. If I don't get a seat close to the front, I sometimes can't even hear what the professor is saying. That stinks. They should give the professors megaphones. Uh, megaphones. Yeah, then you'd always be able to hear them. And even if the lesson was really boring, no one would fall asleep. Might be onto something there. But the professors would get fed up with the noise before the students did. Maybe I should write a letter to the dean. Go for it. Be careful. The evil dean is known to crush any ideas that are too much fun. <laughs> evil deans are real? Maybe. I've never met mine. Don't let that stop you from trying, though. Sure it's a lot of work putting a whole big game together, huh? Yeah, it is. But uh, that's not the player's fault. Games are just hard to make, you know? Yeah, I know. And multiplayer is a nightmare. I bet. I'm excited to hear about all that later. What's that grin? You look like you're about to burst. Do you want to talk about it now? No, it can wait. I just wanted to say... Thanks for everything. All the ideas explaining everything to me. Being nice to me even though you're stressed out and... You don't have to say every little thing, kiddo. I'm happy to do all that for you. Okay, just one more. Even though you have work to do. I'm really glad you're here. Thanks, little hero. I'm glad too. Cool. Sorry I waited a hundred million years to tell you that. Now we're both so old. <laughs> don't make me laugh like that. I might crumble into dust. You're right, I better go enjoy my youth while I still have the chance. Love you, bye. Good luck on your project. Love you too, kiddo. Alright, time to focus. Focus on your future. Focus on what's important. be a nightly homework assignment, a weekly quiz. Five major projects before the semester is through. I do not take late work. Excuse me, sir. For which of our projects will we be working in engine? You stay ahead, you will begin practical work with me next year. You'll have to transfer schools. There's no other way. I'm afraid so. The magnet program 
you're looking for is only available elsewhere. Try to make a decision before the other applicants start piling up. I don't get it. This already is a real game. But I mean a real, real game, like Legend of Hero. I want to make something that everyone can play. Something they'll love. And when I'm done... We can play it together. You know what? I think I've earned a break. <laughs> Holy heck, well hero, where did you get all this play wood? I was, I could, I was like struggling to read, because I was like tearing up. Ugh. All the pictures. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm a mess after this game. <laughs> I didn't- I, I was expecting like a cute game, and it was really cute, and I didn't expect her to like make me cry, holy shit. Thanks for helping with the town. The cottage was a great idea. Yep, I'm full of them. Heh. So you're getting back to work now, huh? Looking at memes, actually. I've done enough work for one day. My group members will just have to step up. These guys could use a lesson in teamwork. After today, I'm sure you'd be the perfect teacher. I do need a little rest before I'm able to keep up with you and your friends again. But I'm still in the game. Consulteth the purple witch if you need potions brewed or curses lifted. Or if you just want to talk. I will. Thank you, O... Goodly witch. Well, having fun with all your friends, kiddo? Doth he seek a tonic from the purple witch? I think it's perfect, I just wanted to say hi. Very well, then I shall return to the my studies arcane. But remember that you are always welcome here. Be safe on your journey, little hero. Okay, this... yeah, this game was amazing. This is one of my favorite experiences I've had in like so long. Oh, it's so good. Like I can relate to a lot of stuff. I I literally went to game design school. And I've I feel like I relate so much to the kind of this like, the gator character, little hero, not wanting to grow up and wanting to have fun, but everyone's all... You know, you gotta, you gotta be doing serious adult stuff all the time. Like, I relate to this so much. And it was just done so well. Oh! <laughs> Guess. I'm just, I'm like talking about the game, and I'm like unintentionally like ruining people's chess game. So reckless, so brutal. I never saw it coming. Now my king is in the mud. It's genius. Exactly the surprising new approach I was looking for. How did you concoct such a bold strategy? Just part of being the legendary hero, I guess. I had no idea I was playing with a hero. Please accept this in exchange for your wisdom. Oh yes, yeah, so that was me winning the chess game, by the way. <laughs> I just flipped the board by accident. <laughs> yeah, there were so many like good moments in this game. The characters are so cute. It's just fun to move around and explore and like... Oh, it's so good. This is now going to be one of those games I recommend to everyone. Because holy shit. It's so precious. 
Oh my god. Alright, I need to stop. It's been over five and a half hours. I did a super long stream because I was really into it and I knew I was almost done. <laughs> I'm like, I've almost done the game, just keep just play it, just finish it. I didn't want to split it into two streams. So thanks for watching everyone. I'm not going to bed. I I stream like before dinner. But yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. That was amazing. Thanks so much to the devs for making this game because this is one of my favorite experiences in like since like Outer Wilds probably. Even if it was a bit short, I don't care. It was amazing. All right. See you next time, chat. We'll be back on Saturday to finish off the bingo and probably just chill afterwards because I doubt it'll take a whole stream. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.